Hello, we are in Memphis, Tennessee, where it is the first snow of 2024. The first snowfall. And it is 18 degrees out here. 18 degrees. Got the lips trembling. Got the eyelashes frosty like these lips. Got the teeth nice and golden. <laughs> Looking like a mystery of love from the skies above. If you're in Memphis, Tennessee, stay warm, stay warm. Keep that water dripping like this body is dripping. Like these lips is drinking full of glory and necessities. And these eyelashes is lit with flurries of snow. That's the only thing you need to know. If you're in Memphis, Tennessee, it is super chilly. Chilly like me. Cold. And mysterious. Do you have any children? Yes, I have four. How old are your four kids? Uh, so the first one is 24. She's a girl. Three boys, 22, 18, and 12. 12. All by the same man? No. How many men? Four. You have four, four kids by four men? Yes. Have you ever been married? No. Here we go. Bumble clock. All right. Boop, boop, boop. She got... She went up in there three, four times. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me, you feel me? 43 and four for four. To see us together, but it don't matter, no. Oh, no, we gonna fight. Oh, yes, we gonna fight. Fight for our love together. Nobody wants to see us together, but it don't matter, no. Cause I got you, and you got me too. I love you, boo. Tanisha, 44, do you have any kids, honey? I do. How many kids? I have five. Okay, how old are your kids? The oldest just turned 27 today. The youngest is 17. Honey, all five ages, Tanisha, honey. 27, 24, 18, 17, and 15. Wait a minute, uh, uh -oh. I ain't got no job, and she got five kids. She look for a man. Yeah. Who is they right mind? Kendra said, are you in Kendra don't understand the how silly that question is? Are you in position to date? Well, Quisha wanted to say, I'm in the best position to date. I ain't got no job. Somebody need to come in here and help me. Don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. I have five. Uh oh, let's get to how old are these five kids, girl? 20, 17, 13, 7, and 3. All by the same man? Absolutely not. What? Why are we having kids by the same man? Absolutely nothing. We just don't. Absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, that that just was not uh, what panned out for for me okay, and the choices that happened at the time. Five. Girl, now I'm. A, now I'm I know Kendra. Go I'm ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm again. I know. 
First, why are you not with the three-year-old dad? Uh, because Kendra, he was married, unbeknownst to me. Wait a minute, uh, uh -oh. What are we doing? Are we going to do this? You 40 years old with a young child. Your last baby father, the fifth of the five. She five for five, if y'all didn't hear her. Five for five. And she said the fifth baby daddy was married. Your face will be the reason I smile. And I will not see what I can have forever. And that's no residue. And then you will remember me. Whoa, you play me dirty. You play me so bad. You talk with my emotions. And I started smoking crack. And then you ran from me. Blame me like the dad, boo. Away from me. How many kids do you have, Jasmine? I have six. Six kids. How old are your kids, Jasmine? Um. Age range from 14 to... Oh, give me all the ages. Um, 14, 12, 10, 6, 4-year-old Christmas Eve, and a 1-year-old December 16. Okay. Jasmine, how old are you? 32. 32. Are they all by the same man? No. How many men? Five. Five. So why are you not with the 1-year-old dad? Ooh. Uh, wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, man. What the hell is we doing? <laughs> Here we go. Quick draw bone quisha. I ain't I ain't never seen bone quisha be so rapid fire with the excuses. Oh. Hey, black man, I love you. I appreciate you. I adore you. Ain't nothing better than a black man to be in this world. If you're a black man, you're a king. You will always be a king. Woo wee. Let's do it all day long. I want to see that. Because we about to go out there and do what they want. They give me my theme music. <laughs> We told you we coming. We told you we coming. You thought we was joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. It's time! Let's get it on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live, single by choices, brought to you by Cart Before the Horse Productions. It's Thursday night. It's going to be a hell of a night. How you feeling, Mr. Walker? <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling fair, freaking fantastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, El Nug Nugs and Le Bon Quishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast. And also, as all you Negroes know, in association with Ain't No Fun 
Once the rabbits got the gun entertainment, what's going on with you this fine Thursday? In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? How y'all feeling out there tonight? As y'all already know, I see y'all in the comments. We got a jam packed show. Yeah. Hey, I saw Q talking about uh, Kendra was crazy last night. Y'all can't be cheating, man. Y'all get sneak peeks, huh? I can't be the only one up here doing black reviews. Speaking of sneak peeks, yeah, I see a lot of y'all in the chat. Like you say, <laughs> I'll be watching a replay. I say, man, y'all, if y'all don't stay out of Kendra's chat, that's all right. If y'all want to see it double, I, I just don't know how y'all take it so much, as Gab always says. It's a lot, it's a lot of content, but glory to y'all. Glory. <laughs> and and we got a wild one because as a lot of y'all know, uh Mr. Walker don't even know. But as y'all know now, Veronica showed up last night. So so this woman we've been covering the last two shows, 42 tattoos. All right. Oh! So, whole deal. Whole, she mad. Whole she deal. mad. Is she raging whole mad? That, that, whole is she... deal. Yeah. I'm um, happy Thursday, you heathens. <laughs> so, y'all know that's coming down the pike. We ain't gonna wait long, either. She ain't the feature. All right. We got a couple. We're getting to her here in a minute. All right. We ain't even gonna keep y'all waiting for that. Oh, oh man. All right. All right, Veronica, Big B, Big Veron. <laughs> Maybe we get her up here because it didn't go so well on Kendra last night. So here's the deal. I can we don't cover it tonight. We'll see. We'll try to get her up here. I don't know, maybe Sunday, maybe Tuesday. Let's see if we can get Veronica. Chat. Some of y'all in the chat, hit her up. Hit her up. Tell her, come on, there single you know. bud choices and tell, tell her, tell the truth. Tell her, we're going to give her the floor to tell the truth. And we shall. We we kind, all right. That's one thing. It's <laughs> it's rumors going around these little raggedy YouTube streets that we walk in. They say Mr. Gavin X and Mr. Walker mean. We ain't mean. We are kind. We're just not nice. <laughs> but we're most kind. Anybody come on up, air your grievances. Only thing we require, like Xerxes, <laughs> we don't require that you that you kneel, but stand stand on your square. So that's all. Let's see if we can get some truth stuff out of uh, dear Veronica. So we're well, we gonna listen to her tonight. We got it outside her. It's it's like so much more madness on top of that. All right. So hmm. I'm here for it, man. I'm here. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, Rich High Media. Come through with the $10. Says Gavin Nix, Mr. Walker, single by choice chat. I'm here for more Veronica Madness. <laughs> it's not just another Thursday. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Okay, Veronica. She making waves, huh? Y'all say what y'all want. It'll be three straight shows. Three straight. <laughs> it's a first. Single by choice is first. Buckle up, folks. Let's get into it. Yeah, for all the people who's been in the comment section of the videos, you know, y'all got to start watching the lives. All right. If you miss this experience, then you got to wait. This stuff don't come out the next day. You know, people in there, oh, y'all got to cover that Veronica. Y'all missing out. I'm like, no, y'all missing out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't so, listen here. You can watch the replays. You can even watch the premieres. Y'all know y'all that's faithful to the chat ain't nothing like a live show. Yeah, if you want, if you want the real, the real flavor of single by choices, gotta catch it live, my baby. That's all. So if you are new to the channel, the replays are delayed, you know, some weeks. So some of y'all come in, oh, this is old, or y'all need to cover this. If you want it to the big vein, you gotta watch the live streams to be the, the most active. You want to be up on top of everything. Right chill, right chill, right now. So shout out to Rich Eye Media. Shout out to Who's the Master. He said, shout out to EJ Uno. Oh, man. <laughs> that's what, I see a lot of y'all over there. Hey, Don, don't let me know the big joker was over there last night. Uh, a lot of y'all, I see EJ Uno. Kendra shouted out EJ Uno last night. It was a whole deal. Hey, I love it. 
I love it. Darkness is spreading, my baby. It's hey. spreading. Y'all gonna make Kendra say our name. We say your name, Kendra. Go ahead. Don Gita, where you at? Front center, big joker. Where you at? Huh? Report. Where you at? <laughs> so we hearing a lot. I guess, you know, I guess y'all done made y'all way over there. So here we go. Well, he says, um, shout out to EJ Uno for asking the tough questions in Kendra chat. We're gonna get to it. Um Project Leroy, he says, give me some old school band drop, some big old school dime. big dime drops. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough one tonight. <laughs> hey, it's be a rough one. <laughs> Q come through. He says, I was at CCF and had some time. Straight madness. <laughs> I'm, here for it. I'm the only one that ain't caught up to speed, but shout out to big EJ Uno over there doing the Lord's work. <laughs> shout out to the Rolette Rider. Come through the $10. Says a little something for the grill. Like a sprinkle. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Shout out to the sprinkle, sprinkle lady. A lot of people, I seen Meteor Man was covering her the other day. Shout out to the Meteor Man. Oh, and, man. you know, people want us to cover. Like I said, she got her own message. It's unfortunate, but we had the woman up here a few weeks ago. She was like 300 pounds. She up here, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Spray, yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> here go with y'all. Yeah, yeah, she said sprinkle, sprinkle. What you saying after that? Ice cream? Cake? Yeah. yeah. Gur gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> swallow, swallow. <laughs> Chug, chug, get out my face. Yeah, don't come up. Listen, just how no dude can come up here broke, dusty, whatever y'all women dislike, can't come up here talking cash money. Don't come up here 300 pounds saying nothing. <laughs> but yeah, one thing I've learned up here, let them people do. Like, um, let them people be like Sprinkle Sprinkle, the, mm -hmm. the Kingless Queen, all them women. It ain't worth it. it ain't, no. They got mindless followers. My thing is, why not? allow you know women to separate i like this let them show their true colors let let the division happen which i wouldn't try to hold on to a woman who like that let them be that i couldn't have said it better myself that's what they say about the difference between southern and northern bigotry they say down south they let you know to your face they don't like you then you know how to address them but up north they had it when want you to have it tell me you don't like me you ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I know how to act that's, now. That's all. So <laughs> they got big channels, you know. They got you know two thousand people watching them live. Granted, let that be because I've never seen it. Like I said, I, I, if you sitting here, I, I would doubt it. Anybody watching that is over here watching this. It's impossible. 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 Why? Because it's, it's hate speech over that way. It ain't that regardless of what y'all may think. Ain't no hate speech over this. All love, tough love. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Them women. Let them women be. Mm -hmm. Let the time. Look at your watch. When you hear them type of women, let time do its thing. All right. <laughs> My man. That part. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Damon, come through with the $5. He says, wait, what? He says, I get the privilege to point out that Mr. Walker not wearing a Kwame polka, polka dot collar shirt tonight. Holy hell. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> here we go. God, hey! So here we go. We'll get into it. We're going to get into it. We're going to start slow tonight. We ain't going to dive right in. Also, we got a cash app. Shout out to... um. Mike Neal in the cash app and shout out to Alexander. Also, shout out to everybody who've been buying the Fosachi shirts. I ain't gonna hold y'all. As busy as we be, man, them orders came through and that made us even more busy. So we appreciate y'all. I still ain't got my with my Fosachi. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> we got a lot of Fosachi gear order. And like That's I said, I ain't gonna hold y'all. That was humbling. We appreciate y'all. Awesome, man. That's dope. Listen here, don't get it twisted. It is what it is, y'all. Making some backwoods country boys' dreams come true. We appreciate y'all supporting y'all interests. There you go, y'all. Y'all alone breaking some curses, getting rid of the the nigga tree. You know, not support one another. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, some of y'all been coming through by multiple. Let me get two of them. You know, so sh yeah. Shout out to Rodell. 
Shout out to June, uh, Rudy. Shout out to Zamir. A bunch of people. I got to find the list, but shout out to y'all, man. Yeah. Boom, there you go. Now, if you want to know, yeah, you got to hit the email. Some of y'all sitting back right now. Well, you saying, well, how do I get one? Hit the email. It's in the description area of the channel. I don't have it on deck. If somebody want to drop it in the chat, but it's, you know, it's cart before the horse at Gmail. Not, but yeah, go check it. It's in the description. Don't <laughs> yeah, let them me sure go. Them shirts go hard. We appreciate y'all supporting. At the very same time, y'all ain't bad and poop. Them shirts go hard. That shit is dope. <laughs> there you go. Where you at, G Honda? I ain't see you come through the email. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Who is that? Eric? I don't even know. G Honda. What's going on? G Honda. <laughs> <laughs> Epic journalism 4K. What? Listen, for those of you that don't know, G Honda threatens me with violence every day via something. He going to communicate violence to me. I wake up and it's just violence. He asking for deeds. He trying to hold, you know, my chickens for ransom every day. I'm over. I'm about to file a restraining order against you, Honda. <laughs> that part, G Honda. So here we go. Like I was just saying, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get Veronica out here shortly. We'll let more people come in. So hit the like button. Hit the like button so more people can come into the room so we can bring Veronica back out for the third time this week. Holy hell. For the third time in about five days, we're gonna bring her back out. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. Veronica, a name that will haunt single by choices forever. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Like I said, we're going to start slow. Um, well, not necessarily slow, but it ain't Veronica. Not just yet. Like I said, hit the like button. Where we at uh, here? Can you still get that hat on? <laughs> Kendra been having some of the wildest contestants over there. A lot of the bussy bandits been over there. It's been wild. Mm, mm, I forgot about that term. Hi, bussy. <laughs> that's a that's some funny, disgusting stuff. Bussy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell! Yeah. That's why I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm moving away from y'all. I ain't, I won't have no parts of it. <laughs> Neither will my children. There you go. Appreciate you, Danny Nicole. She dropped the. Here's the email. So it's cart letter B number four horse productions at gmail.com. So if you want a Fosachi hoodie or if you got any suggestions, any videos you want to send us, um, all the ladies out there, it's for the ladies as well. If you want to be a part of Regal Rumble or anything like that, reach out. This is where you reach out to. There you go. That part. Appreciate you, Silent Assassin, Danny Nicole. That part. So. Here we go. We'll bring this first sis out. Hit the like button, folks. Hit the like button. What we got? Shout out to SPC Dolman. Says, let's go, fellas. I made another live. Yeah. Boom, We're moving, man. There we go. <laughs> it's um, April 29th, so. Okay, that's fine. If you don't do it, I will respect that. Um, uh -huh. So we got Laylee, New Jersey, um, 42, an investor and educator, no children. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, someone who is um, well-rounded, um, well-educated, uh, well-traveled, um, a personal relationship with God, uh, and know what he wants in a woman. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Deal breaker, um, wrapped up in a relationship, multiple relationships, just out, just carousing, not knowing what they want. Um, and um, I guess a bum. That's a deal breaker. No bums. No bums. Okay. What's your definition of a bum? Uh, a man who's um, not confident and walking in his kingship as a man. Okay. Not confident and walking in his kingship as a man. Okay. Um, now, should he look a certain way, Laylee? Um, I, I, I like more exotic men. Um, 
<laughs> I think I'm a little exotic. So I like exotic men. Um, what is your ethnicity, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm Native American and Black. Gotcha. Okay. So you want an exotic man? Yes. You bees a nigga. You need to stop. So, <laughs> there we go, man. Hey, I, 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 I got I got Indian in me. If you ever sit, you got Indian in you. Listen, stop capping. Hey, real rap. Here's the thing. That, like I said, that may be true. But the thing is, Native American is gonna go over some of y'all heads. Native American and African American may be the same thing. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Like I said, use a Negro. <laughs> <laughs> so, shout out to Squeegee Kid. He says, I see we have Mario and Luigi. Hold. Hey, Mario and Luigi. What's the fu what's funny about that? They like two Italian plumbers or two Irish plumbers with Italian names or something like that. <laughs> this is wild. So here we go. I hope that's her real hair, but Kendra, mm. them, them hats. Kendra still got. Listen, Kendra still got on that anime hat, that three D printed hat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, what I, about money? I'm okay. Open. I'm You're sorry. Yeah. You're open? Do you want to well, do you want to add more to it? Um no, I don't. Okay. Should he make a certain amount of money? Um yes and no. Yes, meaning of course I will prefer six, seven figures. However, that comes with what does that come with? I've been there, I've done that, and it comes with a lot. So if he is in a position where he is uh, vision driven to where he is financially able to uh, propel himself to where he's uh, uh, stable and able to move forward, if that makes sense. Okay, so there's no dollar requirement. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, of course, if I make a certain amount, I would want him to either be there or exceed that amount and so i mean that's the uh, question is there is there a minimum like would you date a man that made 50k um i would say 85. okay if 85. i if i put a number what okay okay Kendra said, can you do 50K? She cringed. She said, Ugh. Kendra said, what? She said, okay, maybe 85. <laughs> if I got if I got to put a minimal, uh, maybe 85. Uh. <laughs> it's so hard. Like 85 is so stank. Here's what I got to say. This lady came for She said, so proud. She said, I've done Mr. Six Figures. I've done Mr. Seven Figures. She said, been there, done that. Now I don't I don't care for that no more. Stop. If a man came here and said the same thing, if he said I don't have supermodels, I don't want them no more. Would y'all believe him? <laughs> you no, see what I'm saying? This yeah. I gotta believe her. <laughs> yeah, I like big girls now. I don't like yeah. supermodels. I had the models, you know, models tucked off in the hills of Italy. You know what I'm saying? Then had that, <laughs> but I don't want I don't want. You know, supermodel Italian virgins. I won't. I won't. I won't bone question the hood. I, don't, I had that. Don't want that. <laughs> this is crazy. So she about to stand up. She about to stand up. All right. Before she do, we got a cash app here. Okay. We got our sponsor. We got a sponsor for the night, Mister Walker. Okay. Um, my girl Natalie. She came through. Dropped a fifty ball on us. This is Natalie. I ain't seen you in the chat in a minute. We, we can never pronounce your last name. Ah, oh, I know you're talking about. We appreciate you, Natalie. We can't pronounce your last name. Thanks for becoming a sponsor. Show so sponsor. she dropped a 50 ball on us in the chat. Show yourself if you watch it. She says, thanks for your hard work. Here's my contribution. Y'all know we works hard up here, Mr. Walker. <laughs> hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. They work hard for the money, so you 
Better treat him nice. Ooh, diamond hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. They work hard for the money, so you better treat them nice. <laughs> Shout out to Big Dime. <laughs> Shout out to Natalie. Appreciate you. Shout out to Natalie, the show sponsor right now. All right. She don't want to skip her nothing. She just want her contribution, folks. Appreciate so. you. Also, Divine Photo says, if this Trenton ghetto Bonquisha don't shut her behind up, you were passed around like a blunt. Mm -hmm. By Mr. Seven Figures. Get it right, ninja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stand up. We got to see this. Did he be in New Jersey? No. You don't care where he is? Wherever he is. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam lately. Kendra Cam, I don't know how to I like saying it. your name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like your name, Kendra. Okay. Oh, well, Let you. me see. Let me see if I know how to do this cuz um I'm on a is it is it good this no, way? No, no, go the I, other way. Now we're sideways. No. Okay. That way. Let me Let me detach the um uh, I I'm I'm in the process of losing weight, so this is I have a Okay. What? I don't know if this is. You gotta move back so we can see your legs. Oh, we see your hips, girl. Oh God, please. <laughs> All right, we got you, honey. You don't gotta turn around, okay? But you did. Yeah, she did. And oh. hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Nope. How old is she? Nope. Forty-two. No kids. Asking for Mister Six Figures, basically. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all the exact number. She half a hundo. She half a century old. Somehow she managed not to have no kids, but here's here's the thing. Whatever. But the fact that the very fact that she had the nerve to cringe at 50k and then say, you know, she done done Mr. Six and Seven Figures, it's over. <laughs> Do I need to say that? That, that <laughs> is extremely problematic, folks. For y'all out here that don't know. This woman here cringing at 50K is problematic to the dating scene. Y'all wonder why things is cattywampus and there's ish in the dating pool? Because of this woman cringes at an above, slightly above average man, if you will. There we go. And what, what has to be going on that you in a hotel room on Kendra? What's the okay? What's going on? She definitely in the hotel room. Ain't no, y'all see them curse. So What's going on? We gotta acknowledge the desperation that's always in the room. Always. <laughs> she's talking about she's in the middle of losing weight. Why are you in the middle of losing weight? You ain't even presenting the world with your best self, but you want the best man that you can find on the face of this earth. But you presenting the world with a body that you're embarrassed of. Can we stop this? Like, just stop the madness. This is insane. So here we go. She half off shorty right now. All right. I'm going to give her another word. I want to see how much weight she done lost. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, You're good I to go. Here, but I, I am a person who is um, into the gym. I've lost a lot of weight. So I, I like to stay How much gym. weight have like you lost? Physically. A lot of women losing weight. We like this. How much weight have you lost? Uh, oh, I lost a lot of weight. 150 pounds. Wow. Oh. How did you lose 150 pounds? Exercise Hell. and discipline. Good for you. Oh! <laughs> it's worse than we thought. <laughs> and Kendra said, whoa, there's a lot of women losing weight. That's good. Two things is true. You was over 300, damn near 350, probably 400. <laughs> That's, where we at, man? What's the problem? Good for the sister. But listen, that that don't qualify. I, we shouldn't even have to say this. Like she lost, she lost the excess weight, but that that excess skin is still very much present. She's a she's a 43-year-old woman. Ain't no snap or bounce back left. It's over. She's gonna sit up here with that smug face and say, hard work and discipline. 
And now she thinks because she has decided to show some discipline towards the end of her life that now she deserves seven figure man. Woo, she entitled. She like, I lost 150 pounds. You know how hard I had to work? You better bring me in, Ninja, making a million dollars. <laughs> like you said, God bless her. Yes. At the very same. How do you end up 400 pounds? That's my question. Here's a real question because mm -hmm. I might be ignorant. Can, can a woman end up, you know, 300, 400 pounds without eating a lot? Could there be something else attributed to her getting big outside of eating? Seriously. Don't Serious do, question. Don't ask them questions. They're going to start talking about thyroids. All right. So, all right. So, what's, where's the weight come from, though? If you ain't eating as much, let's say a woman don't, she's like, I eat once a day. I'm, you know, I eat a thousand calories. Is it possible? Well, see, that's the thing. You want to do this? I <laughs> there's, something, there's something going on in the dark that we don't see in the light, right? There, that's what I've seen. <laughs> y'all want to do? Y'all want to go down these dark alleys? It's just, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, how do you get that big? What are you Listen, doing? I once lived with a woman. She was, she was about four hundred pounds, and and when she had to walk, she had to hold her stomach off her knees so that she could indeed put right foot in front of left foot. But and you would never see her eat ever throughout the day. And I'm not, I'm not making this up. I swear, I swear, I hate the fact that my lived experiences are so intense because y'all be thinking I'm capping. Listen to me. You never saw this woman eat. She would sit there and she could cook like a mamma jamma. She made the meanest pecan pie. Oh my goodness. But when that clock struck 12 midnight, if you were still up, we was kids. I was about 12 years old. If you was up, she would get you to walk to that refrigerator and empty out. You emptying that. She'd be like, put this in the microwave, put that in the microwave, and she would eat all the leftovers from the day between 12 midnight and around 3 a.m. And she would just wah, 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 wah. And that's how she was about 400 pounds. So, yes, there are things that happen in the dark that you don't see in the light. And this could be one of them. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Yes. Let will be, be blowed the hell out, man. <laughs> Here we go. Who's the master? He says, what the F does she got going under those clothes? You don't want to see it after just hearing that? Because we go, let's go back to this country cam. We seen that waistline. Something was hanging. Look, now y'all really know this woman lost about 200. And, and all that sitting in her hips. See that? If she wouldn't have been so undisciplined and stepped away from the table, she'd probably be built the only way a melanated sister can be amazing. But instead, no, nope, no discipline. <laughs> and, and what's the net net of it? I'm sure there's folks watching right now. Say, y'all y'all need to relax. She's sweet. She's kind. This is a dating show. We have to repeat that from time to time. This woman come up here as for a top 13% man impossible not she got she compressed i'm being serious like once them clothes come off and all of that just rolls out it's a lot of mass and that's why she's so secure about it this ain't the place to come with those insecurities y'all gonna learn the hard way shout out to big dad <laughs> and for the people out there saying well y'all don't know maybe she can maybe she will Most fine she will. tell her to do it we will be here. That's the whole, that's the great thing about this, right? We can talk all this ish and we can stand on it. What y'all got to do? Go out into the world and prove us wrong. Come up here. Prove us wrong. There you go. Oh, there you go, Tracy Ann. And she exotic. I'm over that. Yeah, we all forgot about that. She didn't do the kitchen can. We forgot all the who she was saying before. She wanted an exotic man. She thinks she exotic because her hair is more silky than her other sisters. You see that? Y'all, there'd be slight insults in there. She said, I think I'm exotic. You understand? Because look at my hair. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to the classy perspective. He says, respectfully, ladies, you have to motivate me to make, make me pass 85K by not dressing like a lesbo lumberjack. You see what I'm saying? There you go. Men don't, men don't work that hard for themselves. And depending on what you look like, you can dress however you want. You can dress like a lesbo lumberjack if you walk around like Janie Aiko. It's here. They do be dressed like lesbo. Yeah, I'm about to say they do. 
<laughs> so it still be given. <laughs> so shout out to Rich Eye Media. He says she gets Mr. 40 hours, maybe. Not even. She don't, she won't respect him. She ain't sisters like this that don't want Mr. 40 hours ain't worthy of Mr. 40 hours. Yeah, she get <laughs> nice puppy. Mm -hmm. All right. And I see we got a couple skips come in right now. So I'll be shout out to um Divine Photos. He says, no love lost respectfully. The 50k man and all average men alike. Bye, Bonquisha. Mm -hmm. And we also got my guy Project Leroy. <laughs> So Project Leroy, you got yours in your back pocket. I see Divine Photos beat you to the punch. But Project Leroy says, time to bounce her to the old school band. I, ah, I agree. That's, and it's unfortunate. She made it to 43 with no kids. How did she make it to 43? No kids and not married. She was at least 350, 400 pounds. And that'll do it every time. And where we at here? Shout out to... Who's the master with five dollars? He says, BS, she got a sleeve. Okay, he said that skin has to be surgically removed. Looks like she was once gorgeous 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably long. Yeah, go and look at her, uh, her senior pictures or something in high school. You know, at the tender age of 18, she probably was fit as a fiddle. Yeah, with that, with that, uh, easier to manage hair. And you couldn't tell her nothing. And now in your 40s, dead smack into the wall. <sighs> that wall upset her head some vicious. And she, she don't know it. She's still talking about she wanted an exotic man. She ain't got the memo. It's going to be bad for her. And shout out to Red Pill Ranger. Says, 43, no kids. How, how many deletions? Yeah, honey. Yeah. Yeah. We can so we whole rabbit hole. <laughs> that part, that part, Red Pill Ranger. Yeah. Shout out to Squeegee Kid. He says the Kendra Springer show callers brought. He says brought to you by. Oh, Zim, Zim <laughs> okay, what's those in? I don't even want to know. Some he drug. says. <laughs> he says now you can cap and say you work out to lose weight. Let Ozempic take care of the rest. <laughs> That's a whole commercial. <laughs> yeah, the one sister came up here the one time. She was on some product. They always on products, uh, surgery. Hey, too many women came up here and said diet and exercise. Maybe one or two. And that's what she claiming though. Squeaky kid said a bull ish. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Red Pill Ranger. He said she definitely looked horrible naked. Sloppy slap Sally. Yeah. Yeah. Time out. I'm sorry. I'm. I missed that. Yeah, diet and exercise don't get you built like that. You're going to lose weight in your legs first. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is cap. I'm sorry. I'm like, why they say those impic and stuff? She lied. She's a liar. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little naive. Yeah, she booed you after that. Hey, exercise. Huh. And shout out to the classy perspective. He says, ref uh, rephrase. If you look like Janie Aiko, you can wear a grocery bag. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Whatever you want. That's your perspective, though. <laughs> but this woman here, all right, we're going to bring him into the room. Rest in peace to the Godfather. All right, I've been watching a lot of Godfather lately, been catching back up, sharpening my skill. Watching the Godfather, you know, for me and Mr. Walker, that's like, that's like Mike Tyson going into the gym, hitting the punching bag, you know, hitting speed bag. You know what I mean? Yeah, go ahead and watch Godfather every once in a while. Try to tell you, get, get retuned up, get re-motivated, baby. Shout out and glory to the Godfather. And it, it, like I said, it's, it's classic, evergreen content, never gets old. Indeed, indeed. And all you Godfather scammers out there, y'all need to, all you people out there still in the Godfather's content, and ain't like, come on, stand on the letter X, all y'all. Shame, 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 shame. Yeah, it's a, it's a bunch of posers out there. That's all right, because they're going to get what's coming to them. All right. And also, 
shout out to Divine Photos says over or under women that will have BBLs on Kendra. Two. Huh. Shoot. It's gonna get to a point where it's gonna be at least one a show. Yeah, BB they getting BBLs like nobody's business. So here we go. We're gonna bring them out. All right, oh, over the hills, through the woods. Um weight loss, Sally. So Godspeed, Godspeed. Yeah, yeah, we ain't wishing nothing bad on her, but she gave her demands. We assessed it. Mm. We spit it back out. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Impossible. Nah. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Prove us wrong. That's it. Prove us wrong. Sister like that, come back up here. You know, uh, nipped and tucked up and skin stretched with your millionaire man on your yacht. And we will tip our hats and say we were wrong. You were right. And But until she comes up here with her million dollar man or whatever she claims she desires, good luck. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to Hex for joining the channel membership. Yeah! Boom, Here we go. Also, Who's the Master says, after Rudy, we can't believe nothing these three or four say. Man. Huh. I see. See that? I agree. She ruined it for everybody. <laughs> and so many more men. Like, if we didn't get the heads up before from Johnny Depp and Jonathan Majors and all these guys, if Rudy ain't driving it home for y'all, I don't know what's gonna do it. Johnny Depp, it got see y'all see how bad Johnny Depp's situation was. Women knew the gynocracy in Order sixty six was so powerful that woman said, "I'm gonna take a dump in your bed, ninja. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> and, and how you gonna prove that out there? Ain't nobody gonna believe you because I was a lady, and then she took a dump in his bed." <laughs> So here we go. We got a cash app here. Shout out to Karen. Karen in the chat. She come through with the $10. She says, speaking facts, guys. Appreciate you, Karen. Appreciate you, Karen. You're a nice Karen. <laughs> Thank you, sister. <laughs> All right. Also, shout out to Andre. He says, supporting the good brothers. Appreciate you. He hit us with $5 in the cash app. Appreciate you, Andre. And, and I see G Honda. G Honda, what you doing in the cash app? Silliness, most likely. Yeah. Silly G Honda requesting bread. Listen, the next one of y'all requests for some bread in this cash app, y'all getting blocked from the channel for 30 days. Ooh. That's a real life threat. That's a re that's a real life threat. Y'all get blocked for thirty days. Next yeah. person requests some bread in this cash app. You get blocked for thirty days. I wouldn't test that because <laughs> you know, better stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <You're crazy. laughs> Shout out to Richai Media. He says, "You know, Ozempic is for diabetics. People use it to lose weight." Once you start using it, you can't stop for life from medical. All right. Whoa. Okay. I did know that it was for diabetics. And they would say, yeah, help them lose weight. But now they just popping them just as diet pills. And it's messing up their whole body chemistry. Now they become dependent. See that? I'm pretty sure these, I hear, I've been hearing about this more and more amongst like our elders is blowed out and on and with the diabetes, but I'm pretty sure they don't know that they can't get off of it. I know they don't. Mm. So, man. All right. So we'll keep the show moving. We making our way to Veronica. We got one more woman and then we're going to get to Veronica. Hit the like button. Let's get some more people in the room. Cause once we get there, y'all know it's up and it's stuck. Indeed. Ozempic. Uh, y'all gotta stop. These pills can't save y'all, man. None of it. Food, let food be your medicine, and and let exercise be your therapy. 
best I got for y'all. Yeah, they got so much stuff out here now, man. And that's an injection. Yeah, I'm sorry, that ain't a pill. They inject in that. There you go. There you go. Yeah, oh. weight loss shots. Yeah. Weight loss shots. Y'all too comfortable with needles. And that's come for somebody with tattoos. Y'all way too comfortable with somebody injecting y'all with stuff. So somebody just start injecting you. Next thing you know, you lose 150 pounds. That's wild. Hmm. Are any any of y'all melanated folks familiar with the uh, Tuskegee experiment? <laughs> well, okay. Here we go. <laughs> so, here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Um, Bonquish on the loose. Here we go. Yes. Kanisha, where are you calling me from? Baltimore. Kanisha, you got to stop moving, baby girl, okay? Oh. You're still okay. moving. How old are you, Kanisha? 33. 33? What you do? Kanisha, do you know what stop moving means, girl? I'm, so, I'm drunk. I'm sorry. I'm oh, still. I'm still. How old still. are you, Kanisha? 33. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. An Aries. Do you have any children? No. No kids. What do you do for a living? I own a mental health clinic. You own, own one? Yes. Okay. The youngest in my you state. Say again, honey. I'm the youngest in my state to own one. Okay, well, congratulations. That's Thank impressive. You. Okay. I did it at 28. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we got Kanisha Baltimore, 33 Aries, no kids. She owns her own mental health clinic, and she told us early on she didn't have sex this weekend. Because you always said, like, when last time you had sex? Not well, just, yeah, that, that that's the question down the line, but I guess you wanted to answer it now. So we got that question out the way. Well, what kind of man are you looking for, girl? He has to be a Christian. That's first. I don't mind. He, he can't have any kids under the age of five. That's my rule. We got to focus on that. I love my baby mother phase. Um, Family-oriented. Um, Self-motivated. I like fat guys. I like tall guys. Six-one, heavy. I like chocolate too, but yeah, that's what I like. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Not, not taking care of your teeth, that's a deal breaker. Um, not being financially stable and not having a great relationship with your, like your family and your parents, that's important to me. Okay, okay. Um, then, well, you already kind of got there with how he should look. You want to be tall and heavy. Huh? Say it again. No, we already got, got to the, we got to the look. You said you wanted to be tall and heavy, correct? Yes. Okay, tall and heavy. All right. Should he make a certain amount of money? No, I, I have six figures in the bank. That's fine. I what? guess like sixty k. <gasps> I guess you should be able to like pay the bills. I guess. But if you can't, like, I'll make you an entrepreneur. It's fine. That's the easy part. Okay. If you're self, so you I it? can make it work. Yeah. Like, you can make your money. Yeah. The money, my, it's so, All right. so easy to make money, Kendra. Like, people don't understand. It's so easy to make money. <laughs> All right. She said, I'm messing with her. She's going to increase your pay, your pockets. I'm okay. I'm okay. All I'm right. Let's listen. Listen, when she just said she got 100000 in the bank, every nug nug from sea to shining sea pulled up on her like, what is going on she said money ain't nothing i got six figures in the bank big bank eat little bank all right give send me something tall and fat that i can control it don't matter what he got going on i'm gonna make him an entrepreneur he gonna do what i say this woman came on beyonce's internet again this is a dating show she said, she came on, she said, I'm sorry, I'm drunk. <laughs> and with that, bring me a God-fearing fat man. Like, where does any of that make sense? Hey, I own a mental a mental clinic. I own it and run it. I'm an owner-operator of a mental home. By the way, I'm drunk. Bring me a fat man I can make an entrepreneur. Do she run it or is she... Has one of the has one of the uh uh whatever the the saying the salad people what is she has one of the patients got loose? <laughs> so here we go. We got a cash app. 
Gotta get that money. Money. Gotta get that 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 all right, I'm guessing you skipping her. I don't know. It's hard to read between y'all texts sometimes. There we but. go. Yeah, yeah. If, if y'all want skips, just at least at the end say skip. You know, say there you yeah, hashtag there. hashtag. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. So we we love the clever the clever sayings, but put hashtag skip this three or four. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes folks don't want to skip. You know, yeah. you know. He said no. He said while, no, so. no skip. Okay, okay. There you go. Shout out to Natty Leo, man. Come through. Support his interest. Huh. This sister, we're gonna let her cook because they they on her tail. But my question is, has she herself escaped her mental home? <laughs> huh. Kendra Cam. Kendra Cam. Oh wait, I got secure the pack. You have to wear. Can y'all see me? What? Yes, we got a bad doctor. Y'all see me? Am I? All right. No, we can see you, honey. I'm we sorry. Can, can we talk about it? <laughs> can like, Lisa, where was... Can Lisa... Yes, take it back. We... Can we see why she want a fat man? Can we see? Who, who knows why? I should have to say, we're going to start having quizzes up here. And another thing, I'm tired of y'all saying these women is built like fullbacks and linebackers. <laughs> I don't know the last time y'all watched a damn football game. I Damn, some of y'all like y'all ain't watched a football game since the 80s or something. Talking yeah. about linebackers. Linebackers and fullbacks are nimble. They slim. They got damn near six packs. What the hell is y'all talking about? Yes, this like here. 50, but they solid. Yes, this here. Yeah, this this is a this is a gap clogger. And he's just nose guards, offensive yes. guards, centers. Hell. She should not move outside of each guard on either side. She in but she in those two gaps. I forget what they call. She straight a gap work. This is a gap shouty. All right, a gap, b gap at best. She don't know nothing about no c gap. She she ain't loud out there. She ain't. By the time she get out there, way she already winned it. <laughs> All right, yeah, she ain't no fullback. She ain't no skilled player. <laughs> Real talk, man. Yeah, I be grinding my gears when I see that. Look at them shoulders. Like, this is the second sister come here and put men to shame with the broadness of their shoulders and the girth of their arms. Like, golly, look at them traps. <laughs> Straight deadlifting. <laughs> so here we go, Bonquisha. Um... We have off shorty. Um, let me get this updated. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kenisha, where was Kenisha, where was your last relationship, baby girl? Seven years ago, I got divorced. Oh, you was married. Why did you get divorced? It was military. I didn't like the long distance. And we were trying to have a baby, and I didn't want to do that alone. So it was just a lot of back and forth. We couldn't. I agree. Okay. I'm freezing. Now, now, now I know you didn't have sex this weekend. The question is, when's the last time you had sex? You don't have to answer them. Like three weeks ago. It was three weeks ago. Is that I'm beyond? Got your option? No. Why not? Because today he made a comment, and literally I come off today, but he made a comment about him wanting to work for me or like with me, but he felt entitled, and I don't mix personal with business. And last, like, I know the relationship is serious, so it kind of turned me off. So what happened now? He did what? He wanted to, so he worked, he has a he has a career, and he said he think it's best for him to leave his career and join mine. And, like, we do this kind of partnership thing, but I've been in business for six years now, so I didn't think what his options were there, in a sense. So I feel like he was just trying to, like, leave his job to just benefit off of me, and that made me very uncomfortable and uneasy. Okay. So... I want to make sure I'm hearing this correctly. So he has a career. He does. Today you guys talked and he said he would quit his job and just go into business with you. 
Yeah, but that that was an option. I don't, I don't know why he said that. Oh, okay. Listen, I'm so sick of these big sisters. Cause she acted like the woman. Why did I marry this man and that bull ish? I'm sick of y'all lying. Y'all seen this woman? This man got a whole career. I'm about to leave my whole career. Come be with you. These men don't exist. These women be making stuff up in their heads. They're sick. <laughs> they ill. They ill. And we got to start approaching them appropriately because they ill. <laughs> y'all, no, nah, seriously. Y'all need to take on our anxiety a little bit. This sister, she said with her mouth that she owns, runs, and operates a mental clinic. I'm just going to leave it at that, man. I don't know what else to say. She up here in this uh, Technicolor dream coat <laughs> up here imagining things. Her imagination is vivid. She had a whole man, a whole independent man with his own business and career. He said, hey, babe, I'm going to drop everything I got as a man. I'm going to relinquish pretty much everything that I am as a, as a resourceful man and come be with you. And she's like, no, nah, that, ain't, that ain't one of your options, ninja. They got my face. That was Nug Nug on the other end of that phone. <laughs> Drunk, drink, drinking. Nug Nug was on the, on the other end of that phone, drinking some high gravity steel reserve, talking about I'm about to come work for you in that insane asylum, changing diapers and handing out pills. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other side of that phone was Mucho. She was back there. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig um, your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig um, your back? No, you. All right. So, can you do that? No, I'm over this woman. She can't do it. Where we at here? Um, shout out to my guy Ramington. He said, "What's up, gentlemen? Please play that old man." Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> shout out to Frederick Howard. He come through the five dollars says, "Get Bonquisha the Green Mile. I've been working all my life to the Milky Way." Jeez, <laughs> you want to, okay, Roger? That. <laughs> I am sick of her. Seriously, yeah, just the bravado, man. He's yeah. just a... <laughs> shout out to Farrell's Kingdom. Says so she got all this money, but not a trainer. Shake my head. No, she'll need one, cause, cause. Because dope smoking nug nug is eating her groceries. We got traitors amongst us giving her this bravado. Shout out to Heathen Queen. And with these undisciplined sisters, when they get the king's gold, they like to eat whatever they want to eat. The most delicious treats and sweets. They right? don't tell self no. I remember being out at a gathering. I'm going to keep it very vague. <laughs> and it was a sister sitting next to me. And she established one of these boss chicks. Nope, sister. Nevertheless, I observed as it was a hot summer day. We ain't by sweating. And she ordered a whole like Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, you know, smoked turkey necks, uh, mac and cheese, greens, candy yams. And I'm like, whoa. I'm like, golly, it's July. Like, it's hot. And you about to let all that sat on you like. And that's when, when they get to King Gold, they don't tell themselves no. There's no restraint. They can't. Whatever they want to eat, they just going to eat it. And hence, you get built like, you know, Mike Allstop back in the day. <laughs> and as a man, you walk into this situation, tell this woman, put the plate down if you want to. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. He says, mental health clinic salary in Baltimore is 44K a year. She she coming off like trust fund baby. Let's look. He said 100k. She meant she got 100k in debt. She said she got 100k in the bank. The way she the way she acted, I'm getting trust fund. Trade wait, trust fund or you know what? This type of she talking bread and she's showing uh immaturity. So it's either coming off as trust fund or she done got some loan and or grants. So she may have funds and stuff for the bank, but when it comes to businesses, that money ain't yours. These are this is business funds, and it would behoove you not to misappropriate them. Nah. <laughs> go there. We go. So shout out to uh, Lawrence. He says, "Built like Bob Sap." 
<laughs> yeah, um, that's more like it. Big Bob sap. <laughs> not even that though. Bob was muscular. She more like <laughs> butter bean. We got to be more appropriate. Butter bean. I agree. I'm. I agree, Mister. <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to the Red Pill Ranger. Says she built like the juggernaut. See what I'm saying? Here we go. Here See, we no, go. the old juggernaut, the old one, the cartoon one, not yeah. the one in the movie. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. not the animated juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he or the one on the round. video game, the old X Men video game. That mm -hmm. one. He was round like a ball. <laughs> Here we go. So shout out to Richard Media. He says, Mr. Walker, she flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> With the <them> braces. <laughs> And Sir Charles says, I got two on it. Nate, go up to the roof. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, classy Perspective said, respectfully, black men, please raise your standards. Please. Seriously. Please. <clears throat> Shout out to Project Leroy. Says, Leon and Baltimore Mental Bay Shawty skip. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so Project Leroy had to skip in his back pocket. Enough is enough out of there yeah i couldn't take no more of them lies thank yeah. you yeah <laughs> and squeegee says squeegee kid come through the five dollars says let me guess she's that big because of birth control making her gain weight ozempic come work your magic on this yeah. Boom, so here's my thing birth control made me gain weight like i said is there anything outside of eating food <laughs> that can make you gain weight there you go. Real quick, uh, die rule, you know, uh, birth control. Birth Brand, control. Uh, are they saying they get on this stuff and then it increases their appetite, make them eat more? Where are we at? Miss Miss Johnson said no. See, I, I agree. Uh, when it comes to health, I want to take the, the hard approach. I don't want to give no excuses. I don't care. Listen here. Listen to here. Hey, listen here. They can say they gained the weight due to uh, thyroid. And and whatever uh, hormones do to the uh, these uh, uh, birth control medicines, but no, because y'all y'all can't sit there and pinpoint it because y'all sitting here banging takis and, and crab boils, so you can't pinpoint it. And like y'all saying, like y'all work out, I run two miles a day as you should, and then and but yeah, it got to be the uh, birth control. No, because you got birth control sitting on you ribs. Uh, mac and cheese, all the sweets, so you don't know where it's coming from. Stop the cat. And two things is true. Shout out to Divine Photos. He says it's tax season, so when Nug Nug hear how much they make, they gonna come through like there's no tomorrow. And this time of year, these next forty five days is it. like Bonquisha, like a kid in a candy store. You know, these women from sea to shining sea. They can get any nug nug of their picking, you know, as far as looks. He ain't going to be resourceful. He's going to be a couch Negro, but he might have some looks to him, and he might come clap your cheeks for 30 days mm -hmm. to get some bread up out you. And Bone Queen should know what it is. She's like, ain't no ninja like this. Ain't no couch Negro this caliber ever approached me outside of, you know, tax season. And they still bite the apple. And wonder why it all fall apart. Then he end up hunching on your cousin, your sister, and your mama. So, yeah, this is the most insidious time of year. We go from the most wonderful time, the most wonderful time, right? We come off Christmas, and then we get into the most insidious time. Drive around right now. Drive around all of the hoods and projects and look out by the curb. If it ain't old couches and old mattresses, out on the curb right now i'm a liar tell me it ain't <laughs> so shout out to jay gray he says she has a warren sap back transplant god, god no <laughs> she give me that warren sap <laughs> shout out shout out to skinny boy how you feeling tonight says all right fellas he says nope no pihanis no pihanis <laughs> or pro bowl bonquisha man Listen, pro bowl bone, pro bowl bone quisha. Somebody got some bread. We uh we assume a trust fund, so uh pro bowl for the win. Here we go. And <laughs> shout out to William. He come through the ten dollars. 
We appreciate you, brother. He says she's double talking because her cost because her statement. He says you will make money with her help. So why she didn't help the guy? Yeah, I want to say Kendra went on to ask that. And she went on to say, well, I was helping, you know, but when some people you can show a horse to the water, but she's she went down that path, you know. She and... pulled her weenie out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she said, yeah, that part. <laughs> Shout out to Cole Sounds. He says she looked like Keisha Jones of the Tremo skits. Jeez. I ain't familiar. I know she got some colorful situation going on in her mouth if she was so big we done said this a few times you know what i mean if you was not overweight by at least 200 pounds you would be a very desirable sister you got no kids you got some bread you got a pretty face you completely blowed out from the shoulders to your torso this is my thing and wing i'm not gonna let this go <laughs> this this woman claims to be a whole entrepreneur business owner not just that being in some kind of health field, a mental home. And she came on a dating show. When the first thing she said was, I didn't hunch last week and then I'm drunk. Like what kind of what kind of representation is this of her field, her profession and of her people? At some point, we got to care how our peers, how our respected peers perceive us. We can't just keep walking around. like I don't care what people think of me because then you wind up like this. <laughs> all right so here we are in spirit of tonight go and drop them godfathers in the chat once again because you know we done playing man we can't sit here and say there's any hope this woman how old is she almost 40 she you should know? not change yeah, she, she got too much brand too much freedom to ever lose weight but Dang. i guess hold on oh zepic oh so let me wash my mouth <laughs> that is not exactly healthy it can't be just injecting yourself and now you're just losing weight that quick hence that's why you can't get off it's it's overpowering over compensating for some some chemical in your body y'all keep on playing y'all don't y'all watch too much tv not to watch enough sci-fi tv and see that y'all about to be augmented out here <laughs> <laughs> so it's over we making examples you wild and sister <laughs> There you go. There you go. Uh, 100K minority grants. I, that's what I'm getting because she's too immature to have really worked for some, even a trust fund kid. I'm so, we could be wrong, but this is what y'all getting. I think even a trust fund kid would be a little bit more mature. Most likely that was handed down by a responsible parent or parental figure. But yeah, that minority grant, that's what I'm smelling. I got to say, I got, I got six figures in the bank. That's crazy to say that. And then that's not like some ignorant, that's not like some ignorant trust fund baby to me. <laughs> that's what it's giving me. Like her parents raised her up real spoiled. It, it, this is how they raising these kids. She just still in that in, immature mind state. And that's somebody true. left her some bread. And she that's just, la, 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 I'm big. I do what I want. You know? That's true. These kids is different. You know, whoever got kids out there that's our age, observe, and you giving your child a better life. I Me and my wife was just having this conversation. These kids don't have no fear. We was just getting on the kids uh, for writing on the wall. I said, don't write on the wall. Don't do that. You know, blah, blah, blah. And you think when we was kids, when we got school, that we went and tucked ourselves away so we didn't get beat. <laughs> if if we didn't already get beat. Shoot, these kids be like, all right. And then they go do something else. <laughs> they just like, what you going to do about it? But I'm still leaning on that she got that PPP boy. <laughs> so there we go. And shout out to Skinny Boy. He says, Gavin butchered the name Pocahontas. No Pocahontas. Okay. Okay. Go. <laughs> Hell, dyslexic. God, uh, you come up with these extravagant names. <laughs> y'all so funny. No Pocahontas. Yeah, don't ever lose sight of that. Just because y'all see up, us up on the big screen, you might be watching on your TV right now. Mm -hmm. That... That still don't matter. We still dyslexic, especially myself. Yeah. So seriously, crack baby, let's <laughs> get it. Crack babies, <laughs> crack. <laughs> so that part. So here we are, folks. We gonna get 
Um, we gonna Veronica. get Veronica. We'll bring Veronica out. Big V. We're gonna, bring her out. <laughs> We're gonna bring her out. We ain't even gonna keep playing. All right. Shout out to Divine Photos. He says, "Real talk," and they make themselves a target. Mm-hmm. It's because they know what it is. Well, around this time of year, Bonquisha can look forward to at least two months of good old quality meat clashing. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to Damon. He says, I'm not seeing I built my company by hard work. I'm seeing government grants and knee pads. Mm, not there you pads. go. <laughs> possible. Very possible. 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 Probably. But <laughs> it's bad. It's in the wrong hands, if you ask me. So yeah, I like misappropriate funds, baby. <laughs> Shout out to Sunspot with True Omega Sun says it's part of the Hamster Dam project from the wire. Yeah, she is from Baltimore. That's a whole nother story. Shout out to Baltimore. Shout out to Smoking Talk. Yeah. Shout out to the Raven. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. Oh, them. <laughs> <laughs> we're smoking talk, baby. <laughs> So here we go. Like I said, we're going to bring her out. All right. We're going to have to put a twist on this because we about to cook. All right. We're going to have to put, we're going to have to up the bounty on Veronica tonight because, and we got a full show. This is far from the feature, right? But here we are. We here. I'm I'm anxious to see everybody already know the scoop. I'm trying to get my scoop on, huh? Get my journalism on. What's going on, Veronica? Third time. So Veronica here for a third time. This got to be intense. Veronica came up first show, her first viewing, lying. Then second time, uh, her whatever, her boyfriend, lover, husband, I know her actual husband, came up, sent, told she was lying, and she came back for a third time. Say, I ain't lying. I would imagine. She said, I ain't lying. He lied. I ain't lying. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. We gonna mine through it. Hit the like button. Let's hit the likes. Let's get the likes up. Let's get. Oh man, we missing almost two hundred likes, y'all. Out of control. Hell? Holy guacamole! Come Why y'all do that? Why y'all be like that? Who made y'all like this? Huh? Who hurt y'all? <laughs> hit the like button, man. <laughs> yeah, hit the like button, folks. That's the first thing we gonna do. Yeah, let's get the likes up. Oh man, that's egregious. That's Y'all mean. Egregious. Y'all mean. Terrible. Yeah, let's get the likes up, man. Come on now, we can at least get the three hundo. Let's get the three hundo. We about to bring Veronica out. We bringing out Veronica, folks. The big V. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Hit the like button. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to do match play. All right. We're going to start Veronica out. You want Veronica off the screen? We start match play out right now at 150. All right. So if y'all want her gone, y'all know what it is. But we about to cook. Maybe it'll come down. Maybe it won't. But we trying to. I know how y'all get. So 150 to get Veronica off the screen. All right. Here we are. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Let's get the likes up. All right, we almost at, oh, yeah, we should be over 300. Shout out to El Paulino. Says, gifted one membership to the channel. And I see Richai. He says, no skips, no skips are allowed for Veronica. 150. I think 150 is appropriate. Mm -hmm. All right. So, here we go. Hey, Kendra, I heard you was looking for me. Oh, we got Veronica. I sure was looking for you, Veronica. Veronica, girl. Veronica. Hey, Veronica. Veronica. I don't. I don't met a man by the name of Rudy who said, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." Uh, you and everybody hold on, else. Hold on, hold on, Veronica. Hold on, Veronica, because I got to do you the way I did him. Is this your husband? Soon to be ex, but yes, I know him. I do. So, so this is, so you are still legally married to him? Unfortunately, yes. So you lied to us? I didn't lie to you. So here's the thing. I didn't know what your, I had, there's no shade to you. I didn't know who you were. 
I'd never seen your show. It was the first time I ever joined your show. Somebody kept Girl, sending me the Girl, that don't got nothing to do with a question if you I didn't know. This is what I'm saying is I didn't know your requirements to be on the show was like, oh, you but, got to But that, that, that don't matter that anyway. So, so okay. The question, yes, yes, I mean, yes, yes, yes. So yes. you lied. Because the question I, I was, no, are I'm you divorced. divorced? Hold on. Whether you knew me or not, it ain't about shade. Questions are questions. And the direct question was, are you divorced? Okay. You said, let's hold on, hold on, let me finish. Okay, let's roll with it. Let me finish, Veronica. I'm going to let you respond, but I got to finish. We have a grown woman talk. Because are you want know? to turn off lying again. Are now, here's the response. We? Yes. I don't give a damn if you never heard of me. The question is simple. I asked you where you divorced, and then I asked you when you got divorced. So you said June. So I, that's why I said, do she think she's when you divorced? So regardless of you met me from that day, the question was direct. So real quick, the backstory. If y'all just coming in, me and Mr. Walker, we've been covering this woman for the last five days. I'm, I don't, I feel bad even saying that, unfortunately. <laughs> but we have. She come up on the show Sunday. We were up here Sunday night. She was the feature, unbeknownst to us, right? Drop it out. She was the feature Sunday night. She come up, 42 tattoos, right? We cooked her, thought nothing of it. We moved on. We come back Tuesday. Her husband was up here. That she said she was divorced, but she's still married. All right. So and he came and told us a lot. If you missed Tuesday's show, you got to go back and watch it. All right. Yeah. We we can that ish was wild. Definitely a top five classic. She came up her line. She lied. She started off lying again. She said, I didn't lie. She said, I I I I I I I didn't know who you was. I I I I I never saw your show. I I I I'm a liar. <laughs> So she kept her line about a lot, about how many kids she got, about being married, about her body, and we about to get into it, setting the context. Hello. All right. She lied again. Uh -huh. <laughs> shout out to El Paulino with the three dollar super sticker, and shout out to Q. He says gaslighting one on one, folks, over talking and misdirecting. It's about to get mm. wild. <laughs> Correct and clear. Are you divorced? When did you get divorced? The reason I asked the when is because people like yourself, can be separated at times. So I asked the when. And then I think we brought it up two times. So you should just admit you lied. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, that's fine. I wasn't cl completely clear about my divorce date. But yeah, I, in my mind, so you I was. thought you were divorced. You, you, you think well, you're divorced. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's living with his ex-wife. He's living with his first wife. Like, you left here a year ago. And unfortunately, it's a technicality because in South Carolina, you have to be separated for a year before you can file for divorce. Now, we were going to falsify and file in Florida and say that, hey, we were, you know, he's going to file in Florida so we can have an immediate divorce. But because of other things on his part, he decided, no, I'm going to try to file in South Carolina or we would have already been divorced. This is just a drag out thing. But we don't speak. We don't talk. We have no interaction. We are done. We have nothing to talk. We have no kids. We have no ties. We have nothing together. We are done completely. But yeah, let you me call it that. That's are fine. You, go ahead. No, what was you gonna say? No, I was gonna say, but that's that's fine. I, I'll let you hold that. That's okay. Yeah, I'm technically yes. I'm I'm technically yes, still married. So did you? Were you aware that you had a mediation in April? Yes, I'm aware. So then I'm you aware know now. when you talk to me that you were still married. I tell you what, we gonna cook. We gonna cook. <laughs> where all my journalists at? Where all my journalists at? Squeegee kid, Richai. Somebody jump in her uh, DM right now. Tell them to come over here right now, Veronica. Even if you uh in the chat right now, Veronica, if you in uh, ghost watching, come tell your truth. Somebody hit her up, DM. Somebody DM her right now with the link to the show. Tell them listen, to come on over. She, she already gave a strong disclaimer. She Listen, this is amazing to me. I love to brain wrestle and I love to dive inside people's minds and think how they think. And she had the nerve to come here and say, she said, I'm technically I wasn't divorced, but in my mind, Kendra, in my mind, <laughs> I was a single. You see, do you know how dangerous that is? Does that not sound a little insane in my mind? I was what I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, Veronica, show yourself. Show yourself. If anybody know her, y'all friend, I see somebody says private. Hit the friend button. See if she accepts you and tell her, come on over. They doing a whole exorcism. Come defend yourself respectfully. We we mm -hmm. most respectful, Veronica. If you go squatching, 
We just we just journalists. We just trying to get the truth. There you go. You might come over here and clear the air because it ain't looking good, sister. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I literally just got the letter for the mediation in the mail. So today. when you talk to me, but I, what I'm saying is if you knew you had a mediation, you knew you were. I didn't know that. I just got it today. You just so you, had, so, to so you had no idea you had a mediation in April. I just got it today. Did you let me ask you this? When you talk to me, if a guy if a guy proposed to you, did you feel as though you could legally marry him? Nobody would propose to me. Hence why I said no, I want no, to take I'm my time. I'm asking you, if a guy proposed to you, would you feel as though you were able to legally marry him? Sure. I would say you just have to wait till after June. We can get married, but after we have to be after June. Well, you knew it. Veronica, you trying to answer around these questions, Sean. I'm not answering you asking me. I'm no, answering no, the question. No, no, If so somebody proposed, Okay, I okay, so, okay, so you're right. So therefore, you knew Kendra, that. Kendra, they would already know, like, hey, listen, here's my situation. Here's what really happened. Here's the story. Here's what's gone on. If you're trying to propose, we can get married. But unfortunately, until after this date, June 18th of 2024, I, my court date is not, we're not legally divorced until then. So, okay, Veronica, either date. way, why not just say you were separated when I asked you when you were divorced? I, in my mind, we're divorced. We're divorced, and and it will all, it's gonna all come out in the wash because in, in case I don't know if you didn't see all of the messages, but all of this this there's been a plethora of women who've been commenting on your TikTok, your Instagram, and your YouTube about their relationships with him during our marriage, the relationships that they had with him during well, our marriage. But here's the deal: he didn't come on my show, and all I care about is coming on my show. I can't. Listen, I don't know you and I don't know Rudy. That's right. My show, but the rule of my show, it's a very clear rule. If you're separated, wait till you're officially divorced and you can come back. Again, and like I said, I didn't, and again, and like I said, I didn't know. So what he's doing and what y'all doing, that's really y'all business. But when you come on my show, you make it my business. Now, if he would have called me and I would have asked him if he's still married and he would have said he's separated, I would say, well, we can't continue because that's the rule. But let's go on. I want you to fact check some other things that he said. Do you have three children? So here's the thing with a lot of that stuff. So um, because it has now become a legal matter, because as you know, in the state of South Carolina, libel and slander is punishable by misdemeanor uh, fines. There can be um, civil ramifications. Do you have three children, Veronica? It is. I, I never said that I didn't. I have three children. And on my I social asked you how many cases, kids you had. You said you had two. First of all, I don't. Children to me ch are ch they're children. I have an, an adult child who is not in my household. So when you say children, if a man is going to date me, he's going to date me and my two children. You shut your line, nigga lips up. I can't. So now here we are, the who do, Mr. Walker. We get this is new who do. This, this is wild, bro. Oh, Veronica. Oh, Veronica, you let me down this fine, fine, ratchet evening. She keeps saying in my mind. She said, in my Kendra. I know I went technically legally married, I mean uh, divorced, but I'm trying to tell you, Kendra, in my mind I was. This ratchet sister, she had the nerve to come here talking about how other women was talking about they was dealing with this dude. I don't know, if, for y'all that didn't see the second part before the first part, now the third part, that dude said that this woman, Veronica, sent him her husband a video of a man and a woman getting down on her straight up jarhead style and wait till they get to that wait till you hear her so it ain't over oh so. i'll tell you what this is too much y'all better hit the like button man this is crazy work here we go shout out to my guy g honda he comes through the $20, says, all for the plate, and tell, he says, and all the weave on set. Yeah, to all the weave on set. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to B.Y. Says, we need that stop line drop cued up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got her. We got her. I'm going to catch her on her next slide. We're going we gonna to hit her upside <laughs> the head. All right. Shout out to Lawrence. Come through with the super sticker. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. El Paulino says no SC has a uh, recollection Re reconciliation uh, re reconciliation period. period reconciliation period and once that fails then you can proceed to divorce okay okay so she says no South Carolina. South, South Carolina South Carolina 
So you got to re- yeah. So the dude said they got reconciliation on in April. So there you go. This is the period. But she said she been divorced. I love it, man. And she don't get into it because in her mind. It's and I keep it that my bad. I forgot about her mind the way her mind works. <laughs> So shout out to Team Peterson says it's powerful nigga tree when she opens her mouth. He's been a channel member for six months. We appreciate you, bro. You know what? Next time I go to the bank and they look at me the way they always look at me, I'm gonna say, Stop looking at me like that. Cause in my mind, I'm a rich Caucasian man. Look at me accordingly. Sound like <laughs> Leon King. Yeah, stop. 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 Leon, <laughs> you're rubbing off on me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Q. It says Gaslight 101, excessive, irrelevant information. Huh. She hot. Listen here. Veronica sweating. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Skinny Boy says, my mind was telling me no. Is this camera on me? Uh-huh. Richard Media says, Q up that Farrakhan drop stop line. It's coming, fellas. I said, we're about to catch her on this next bit. She got about five more she going to tell. All right. So... Your daddy plug says, as men to be safe, you got to assume they all lie at this point. That's crazy. <laughs> and Divine Photo says, pathological liars are always the heroes. Uh, what's that? Heroines? Hero- and heroines. heroines and victims of the stories they concoct. So, What's the difference between pathological liar and a compulsive liar? I got to look that up. But she probably both of them. (laughs) And shout out to CVD says her Jedi mind tricks aren't working. Ooh, CVD. She said, this is not the droid you are looking for. (laughs) Kendra said, yes, it is. (laughs) Like I said, we ain't letting that guy off the hook. He married her. This woman got three kids by three men. And Kendra said, you married her. He said, well, of course I did. So when Simp. we sit up here telling y'all about these simps and these traders, and we be like, maybe there is a man, y'all be like, y'all tripping. Huh. Simp, and see what he got? Straight footage of other people beating his <laughs> man. And shout out to Damon. He says, how calm, cool, and collected he spoke. He sounded hella crazy, bitter, and delusional, and vindic- vindictive. See, mm. that's that's what they were saying. He was just up here telling it, but they don't. She, he was exposing the gynocracy's un, nasty underbelly, and of course they're gonna rebel. Oh, you better, you sassy. <laughs> he is a simp. That he is. <laughs> huh. And shout out to Triple X says Weave Wars episode two attack on the hyenas. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> shout out to Chubby. He says, when I'm right, I'm right. I told y'all she was all cap on Sunday on following them. Yes, you okay. did, good mayor. Yes, you did, good mayor. You That's did. That's why y'all in the field journalists, all right? Mm-hmm. We need all y'all. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Project Leroy. He says, she said she was Afro-Latino. Another lie. Latina. <laughs> uh, shout out to who's the master. He says, no cap. I see why dudes probably marry her. She seems crazy as ish. That box probably good than a muff. Yeah, we that listen here. That is kind of a <laughs> a sick gold rule in the hood. That crazy box is the best, and she definitely crazy. This is a biker chick. She sent her husband a video of the of a biker dude and a biker chick working her over the 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 chest pain. <laughs> Yeah, this is wild. And she also, like I said, she don't count her grown kid. We'll get to that. Shout out to Tony Bones, typical 304. Uh, William, he says she's two-faced, huh? And squeegee kid. He says she's trying to say her grown kid isn't a kid. Then how does she introduce her adult kids to people, to her adult kids, if she's not her mom? I was going to say she tw- she 42. Her daughter, she says she got an adult daughter. We're going to get into it. I'm about to let her go. Her daughter is 27. Her daughter is 27. She's 42. So she had kids. She got pregnant at 14, you know. So, and she uh, had this grown kid. This kid, she was pregnant at 14. She probably looked at her daughter like her sister or something. But nonetheless, it still it is what it is. Wow. Again, man. Again, we see how like these, these teenage pregnancies. It's like 90% of the time they tied to this kind of behavior as an adult. And it's unfortunate. I hate that for these sisters. Nevertheless, 
Here we are. So here we go. Shout out to Crossroads. Oh, I'm sorry, Cold Sounds. I don't know where I got that from. Sound the Cold Sounds says Resident Evil Code Veronica. I like it. Dang. Yeah, Code Veronica. That's intense. Uh, shout out to Sunspot with True Omega Sun with the five dollars. Says in my mind, I'm T'Challa in these streets and Nug Nug in the bed. Debrica. Huh. Hell. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Get back into it. Hit the like button. Shout out to uh, Filthy Ramirez. He's been a channel member for a month. He says, get him up. Get him up, folks. Appreciate you, Filthy. The two children I have in my home. I have a child that lived, lived in my house in 10 years. She's 27 years old. She's almost 30. I, I, that I is an adult. I like women, I have to ask the most direct question to get an honest answer. So do I have to start saying how many children have come out, of, how many people have come out your body in order to get the real answer, like I have to really go. No, or maybe basic. just in total. But when you're saying children, because if you're on a dating no, show, Veronica, somebody's gonna no, date honey, you. They're going Veronica, to date your children. Veronica, I have an, this now, is an you adult child, and she's not a secret. Come back and make on my social better. media page, uh, on my social media page, my grandchild and my child are both on my social media listed all, okay, all throughout my page. Let me ask you this. So there was no how denying people, about that. How many people have come out of your body? Three. So that's how I have to start asking women questions, obviously. That's how you would like to phrase, that's to how you would like to phrase your how question. How many people have come out of your body in order to get the real number of how many people you birthed? That's really sad that I have to go that it's, deep it's with a 43-year-old woman. It's not you sad. It's not sad. Now, do you want to have the conversation you or do you want to? You didn't have this energy Veronica, for if you were you 21, didn't have this I would expect that. So have the correct energy for me, because I didn't come at you wrong like that, Kendra. You but coming no, at me with all this the extra reason energy, the energy right it's now unnecessary. Is it's because, unnecessary. No, it's deal. unnecessary. It really is. It's unnecessary. Here's the deal, Veronica. Somebody was allowed First to come onto your what platform you know? Listen, and we can't slander talk. somebody. We can't well talk. You're we absolutely can't. right. We can't. So go ahead. Go ahead. It's your platform. Here's the deal. Whether you knew me or not, you call me. I don't know you if you never call me. Rule number one, plain and simple. You decided to call me. Once you call me, you make you, your business, our business, the cousin's business, watching. Now, I'm just going to say, I had no idea that I had to ask a 43-year-old woman how many people came out of her body in order to get the real answer of how many people she birthed because children, she's past that age. That, to me, if you were 21, I would expect this dialogue. But to be a woman that's one year younger than me, that's kind of sad and pathetic, just being honest. But that, and that's your opinion. But I don't have, this is a grown woman. This is an adult who, this is an adult who doesn't live in my home, who hasn't lived in my home in, in probably almost 10 years. She hasn't lived in my home. So when you say children, to me, that is a child. If somebody is going to interact with me, they're interacting with two children who are actually in my home. This is an adult who lives five states away. I don't consider that to be a child. I don't, I've never neglected her. She's very much on um, a part of my, she's on my social media. Like, it's not like I'm negating the fact that I ever have had a child. So, you know, th and that's a technicality. Here's another thing. Oh, she lives here and not here. Hello. Nobody ever says, I might as well just drop the pin and gave my address. I'm in this area. You don't exactly say, hey, this is where I am. It's like somebody who lives in Hollywood. You don't know where Hollywood, Florida is. So you would say, oh, I'm in the Miami area or I'm in Miami because most people know that as a landmark. That's not a lie. For safety reasons, you don't say, especially when you live in a small town, oh, I live here. So uh, some of these things were so petty and the fact that she was just like followed up on them, it was just absurd to me. But again, slander and libel is a real thing. And in the state of South Carolina, it is considered a misdemeanor. It is, and I'm, I have to be cautious on what I say because the matter now is with my attorney. However, a lot of that stuff was false and incorrect. And there are women who have been trying to reach out to you who also have receipts and pictures and videos that are timestamped during the time of our marriage who can attest to saying, hey, well, the reason well, I, I, the I already divorce. addressed that. I already addressed that. The, the bottom line is this. What I don't know you, you, you and Rudy called me. That's just the fact. Right, but what like, did you address? Hold on, let me, right. let me finish. Let me respond to what you just said. I'm not saying Rudy is this Prince Charming man, out rightfully so, but the point of the matter is Rudy did not call on my show and tell me that he was not married and I proceeded. That's all that matters. Now, what y'all do in y'all life, that's y'all business. So... Here we are, man. I, this woman, she just, yeah. as y'all see, here we go. Stop hey. lying. Why you lying, ho? Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop. Listen, 
I'm I'm gonna go say it. I'm gonna go far and say this, and I don't, I ain't no legal profession, but slander is pretty tough to prove. Okay, come on, T. Peterson, what you got? Uh, with slander and libel to be found guilty, there has to be. <laughs> you beat me to it. Like I said, I'm no I'm no legal profession, but I I took a little business law. I know something. To prove slander, you got to prove that that person did it and just with the intention to hurt and harm. You got to prove that. It is if you ain't got the funds to be held up in court for over a year or so, good luck. There's a whole biker chick out here sending videos or getting hunched to her man. Ain't no attorney taking that without sitting on some hundred thousand dollar retainer <laughs> and good luck. <laughs> this is it's, the captivity uh, continues. <laughs> and here's what I was trying to do real quick. We're going to get right back into it. That I want to show you all this context real quick. Right. She come up here. What was that? Sunday. And like I said, we cooked her. Veronica, if you're watching, you're more than welcome to come up. Defend yourself. All right. But uh, I think this is it here. So I'm going to share this screen here. So. <laughs> this was her Sunday. Her. She come up here, arms out, right? Tattoo showing, all that. She was on one. It's her Sunday. I'm not here today. And now here she is today. Covered up, looking like she got to go to court. She on jury duty. She went from Magic City to jury duty. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Up here talking about slander. Who do you think you are? Stop lying. Is it uh listen? This ain't no assumption. She don't have no attorney that took this case. I trust me. She just up here lying once again. I love it. I love the liars. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button, folks. Defend his character. He didn't try to call me to be a guest on my show. If you want to fact check, there's another you you're busy. Hello? Hello? We can't hear you. Oh, how about now? Um, I can hear you now. Sorry, I got some paid questions, but I, I'm not done yet. My do you want to respond to? Do you want to respond to the fact whether or not you had surgery? I have to be very cautious about what I say because, again, it's at this point it's a legal matter because. Well, you call me, girl. So what you call me for? You want? I'm asking you questions, so you don't want to answer okay, that. So because that was something. Hold on. That hold was on. something you, you got offered. Got a dip on your chip, Kendra. Like, don't have that energy with me. Like, don't you didn't have that energy? Well, with no, me. Veronica, I'm gonna have energy me. with you because Pull I'm getting man. irritated because man. the fact of okay, the matter is you call me. You call me lying. You call me lying. So if you don't expect, if you if you don't expect this type of energy, I don't know what you would expect. You literally caught and told lies on my show. This is a but did I, show. But did I tell the lies? Yeah. You don't know that. You're you're at this point, you're calling me a liar and you don't know if I did. This Veronica, just two different Veronica. Are you are you a part of this interview? Are you a part I, of this interview? Are you a part of it? Because it seems like this is the candle. Okay, Veronica, what would listen? You listen, honey. I'm not gonna play these games with you. You just admitted to two lies in this interview. How how is that a lie? That is not a lie. You you admitted that you are married and you told us that you were divorced. That's a lie. That's not where what, what what's going on here? Okay, That's so an admission right, of lying. That anything else is not a lie. Like you don't just like when you come out on a public platform, you for me to say, oh, I live here but not here. I live. Okay, that I, listen. That's okay. That, we're not talking about that. that. I didn't even bring that up. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the basic where everything begins is. You said you were divorced and you are legally married, and that is a lie. We can fact check the fact that you are legally married. You, you told can't. a lie, Veronica. And that's fine. If that's not what you want to roll with, that's okay. But so we're not. It's not what I'm rolling with. It's just the facts of what it is. That's just the facts. That's fine. So we're not going to roll. We're not going to talk about any of the lies that Rudy told. Because Rudy came on here and just lied, 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 and he was allowed to just talk openly for 20 minutes, and you never interrupted him. You never gave him this this hostile energy. This man was allowed to come onto your platform, onto your platform, and say whatever he wanted to say. Libel, slander was able to come on here and say whatever he wanted to well, say. Well, like I said with Rudy, and I said it several times, I have to use allegedly because he said something about a video, and mm -hmm. he was ready to show the video. Now I didn't allow him to show the video. I and don't I, know if yeah, 
Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. Well, do you want, but do you want to right now say if that video exists? The video exists and it was after the fact, the date that we are legally separated. The paperwork that says, gives the date of the date that we are considered by the court legally separated, that video occurred after we were legally separated. Okay. After. Now, have his, you ever had have you ever had body surgery? His indiscretions. I, again, I have to be cautious. His, I have to be cautious. Like I said, I can't say a whole lot because it's with my attorney. But there are several women who have tried to reach out to you who want to come on the platform and say, hold "Okay, on. well they can." Well, 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 here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You got to understand this. Here we go. Now she's a victim, folks. You're just, just telling the like truth. You're playing the victim. I'm card. just telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional, but Robert, and I apologize you... for that, no, is no, because no, this no. is the first time I was able to, to say speak. something. Yeah. I've said nothing. Uh, so, uh, here we go, man. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, Veronica and Ken get right. This is a handsome boy. Like, come on, man. She said after they were officially broke up, she she put on her, her leather chaps. She rolled to the local home bar with her biker boys. And she said, what's the move for tonight? I'm bored. I'm trying to get into something crazy. And they said, come on to the back room, Veronica. And, she, and then he said, turn on the camera. She said, I want to send this to somebody. She sent. Understand the kind of woman we're dealing with. She had a man and a woman working overtime on her and said, put the camera. I got to send this to my to my soon to be ex-husband so he could eat this. She is evil, <laughs> evil work. Like, and here's the thing. Women swear that that's revenge. When y'all sisters act like that, the only man y'all disappointing is your father. How about that? That's it. Because at this <laughs> point. Yeah, Veronica up here. I don't know how to hog that, people. What would I hog that? My kids is listening to this. Uh, <laughs> so, Veronica said, why would I? Kendra, why would I lie, Kendra? She says this with my attorney now. It's with my attorney. It's a legal matter. Now it's legal. It's legal, uh, Bernie's book tour. It's, 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 it's legal. I can't say much. She said, did you have body weight surgery? That, that's legal. <laughs> That's with my attorney. I can't answer that part because that's with my attorney. <laughs> my man, Kels, that's a classic drop. We had to go to the archives. Where are you at, Kels? I don't know how to hog that, people. What would I hog that? My kids is listening to this. Uh, now, now I, listen. Now, listen. Hog that, people. To be fair, hell? to be fair. To hog that's one that takes some skill. And we know Robert Kelly ain't the most educated man. So I'm oh. going to go on to say, I don't think Robert did hog time. Nobody. <laughs> oh, not a hog top people. Here we go. We'll get to Super Chats in a second. Here we go. You can be in your emotions and you can be in your feelings. I'm not. But, oh, oh, thing, I'm, not I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to do the listen and talk back rule because we can't talk over each other. But the fact of the matter is, the old, Rudy, again, and I said to him, I don't know him. I don't know you. It's y'all word against y'all. But the fact of the matter is you just admitted that he is still legally, legally your husband. And that's why he came on to expose the truth. Now, I'm asking you this question three times. I'm going to ask it again. Okay. So you volunteered. Me... You, you actually volunteered oh, hold on this. One second. Hold on, hold on one second. Oh, hold on one second, Veronica. Hold on one second. I never asked women if they had body surgery, first of all. What you, you, what you, you are, hold on, Veronica. Let me finish my statement. I never asked women if they had body surgery. You decided to volunteer that your body was natural. You got it from your mama. So right now, have you ever had any type of surgery or lipo? And again, I have to be cautious at what I say because everything was, this video has been downloaded and sent to my attorney and I do have an attorney. Why can't you answer that simple question though, Veronica? I, because I have to be cautious about what I say. You have to be cautious of whether or not you had surgery? I have to be cautious about what I say because again, I know, but I'm just asking, I'm just saying, why, why can't you, I mean, first of all, you, hold on, let me ask you this though. Let me just say this, but let me say this so I can understand. I never was going to ask you if you had body surgery. I don't ask women that question. Hold what, on, let me finish. Why? Let me finish. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Why? Let me finish, because let me finish Veronica. Let me finish. 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 on your show, you treat them differently. Anytime Veronica, you are a case. Veronica, you are separate right now. What are you talking about? I'm asking you to. I'm, this I'm, is I'm, your I'm, 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 
I'm telling you facts. Wait, hold now, on. Well, you Monica, on her. I, I, I want to continue, but we're not going to continue like this if you're not going to admit. As I say, I never asked women, I never asked women if they had surgery. You offer to volunteer that your body was natural. So if you offer to volunteer that your body was natural, why can't you just so let me, admit okay. to it or not admit to it right now? I just want to understand this. At first, you were caught up on the fact that, well, are you married or are you not married? Your man came on here and said he was this, he was that. And so you're not allowing me to speak to anything. What you're concerned about is what you're concerned about. And I get it. This is entertainment for you and you want ratings and you want. No, food. I'm just what trying to get that. I'm just trying to get that. You want the mess and you want the tea. What you don't want no, to do. Girlfriend, you, you call me. I don't know you. you. I don't want the mess and the tea. Y'all call me up. I don't call nobody, honey. I call no one. You call me. Plain and simple. What I'm doing right now is I'm asking fact check questions. Right. Like I said, so hold on, let me say it again. Okay, but did you fact me... check him? Did you fact check him when he came on your show? Did you fact well, check I'm, I'm him? Only way I can fact well, Veronica, did you fact Veronica, Veronica, listen. Did you ask only way I can fact check did him fact is to talk him. to you. Oh, it's getting catty. <laughs> All right. They... <laughs> They done broke the claws out. They about to take the weave off. All right. And... Listen, shout out to Kendra holding her composure. The only way, y'all getting some gems tonight. The only way to deal with this, and hopefully y'all been taking note from me and Mr. X when we have these sisters actually come up here on person. The only way to get anywhere, you can't match her energy. Veronica's a sign language riddle energy. You can't. All you can do is remain calm. And let her tire herself out a little bit and then keep busting her upside the head with the facts. And Kendra trying to say, I'm um, fact check, I'm um, check, um, oh my goodness, I'm um, fact checking him with you, but she won't let Kendra talk. Kendra, like, I am fact checking him via you. I'm not gonna ask him, I'm gonna ask you. But she's so hurt and wound up and caught in lies that she won't admit to. She can't stop, she can't stop talking. She's just fighting now, just to fight. <laughs> So here we go. I know we backed up here. We appreciate all the support. We got Cash App from the Max uh, Mask Man. He hit us with the five dollars. Says Prison Lawyer Bay. She said, "I got one." She flashed the things. <laughs> and shout out to Gordon for the Cash App. Just supporting the show. We appreciate you. And also, um, Vancy. Hope I'm saying that's right. V, I'll call you V. Hit us with $15 in the cash app. Shout out to Vancey. Shout out. Or it might be Vance or Vance. <laughs> Can't pronounce it correctly, but we appreciate you for the cash app. Also, we got Super Chats. Shout out to Frederick Howard. Says gang violence, Veronica. Oh, man. Indeed. Straight gang violence. <laughs> <laughs> And Divine Photo says, no matter how grown a kid gets, they still your child, no matter what. If my mom didn't acknowledge me, I would feel away. Man. <laughs> hmm. Shout out to Turb2000 says that grandma box turned a five for five guy into a simp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Divine Photo says, this is a World War wig, too. Man, this is World War. Yeah. It's going down. That's what they have shown. <laughs> Corey come through with the $5. He says, Kendra be asking these chicks questions and they be flaky like them surgery, surgery scars after. Ooh. Huh. This sister hmm. ain't answering no questions. <laughs> <laughs> she hostile. Look at that face. Man. <laughs> and who's the master says, yeah, bro, this crazy B.I. sitting on gold. He says, my, we, we telling me we be telling me to take a chance and hit her up. Holy hell. All right. The wee -wee. The wee -wee, man. Yeah, yeah, be careful with that. <laughs> uh, shout out to Divine Foles. Plot twist. Veronica is her own attorney. Boom. <laughs> Possible. Hey, she gonna show up in court like that one dude. And if y'all think I'm playing with y'all, god dang it, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Boom, shout out to Veronica. If you watch it, come on up. And Q yeah. says, Gaslighting 101, attack the character of the person. That part. Mm -hmm. Lawrence, come through the $5. He says, got an attorney for slander, but not for the divorce. Make it make sense. <laughs> it makes no sense, brother. 
And shout out to our infield journalist, Rachai Media. It says Veronica, aka Golden Lady Two Two One on Instagram, has not responded to my IG invitation for message. So, yeah, Veronica, if you watch, I'm about to drop the link in the chat. I'll drop the link, Veronica, if you ghost watching. Come on up, explain yourself. All right. Yeah, I am giddy with anticipation for you to come up here. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Notorious NIG for the $20 super chat. Says, this entire ordeal has convinced me at 34 years old to grow up and stop lying. I see how pathetic it is now. Stop lying, people. It's for cowards. There you go. Sure. Blessings to you. Don't be a lie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. Says, Morris says, and the lie detector determines that was a lie. <laughs> we need to send I, we need to send her shirt just co completely covered in the word lie. Just lie. Just completely covered over the shirt. <laughs> or a scarlet A, either or. Oh, yeah. She's an adulterer and a liar. <laughs> Shout out to JLB. Says, with the $5, I have opened 18 lid stores based on all the cap I have gotten from her. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Project Leroy says 2024 mom of the year one Veronica, two big dime, three mucho. Y'all gonna add a new contestant to mom of the year, y'all, bro. But she fits, <laughs> she fits. <laughs> Squeegee Kid says she filmed a movie with the other couple called Buns of Anarchy. <laughs> Do y'all not understand what was going on in that video? She said, I'm going to send this video to my ex-husband that I hate. And do y'all not know, it wasn't no, no, no mild missionary going on. People was hanging from the ceilings. It was probably farm animals involved. It was wow. Man. And shout out to Knight Rider. He says, you corner a hyena, it's going to lash out. Mm -hmm. That part yes, Shout out to Tony Bone says this is sad. A lot of people BMs is just like this too. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, and, and that's why we express weenie discipline. So a lot of the stuff we say GTD and recreational, that turns into these nightmares. There you go. It ain't funny when they come to this. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Skinny Boy says 550 people watching. Record breaking live is documented. Yeah. Boom, Dr. Locker. Documented. Shout out. Appreciate y'all supporting. Veronica, if you part of that 560, just come on. Talk to us. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> and we only got 350 likes. 200. Come on. So that's the sad. That's the downside. 350 likes. Come on, folks. It hurts. And shout out to Q. Gaslight 101. Attempt to start an argument to end the conversation as a way out. Folks, we have witnessed gaslighting by a pro. Bravo, B Veronica. Bravo. I agree. She that hoodoo is strong with this one. <laughs> <laughs> and Damon says that X tape will be posted on Beyonce's internet one day, and she will be crying victim when she winds up the church lady sister vagina. Here we go. Um, I gotta be careful what I say because Veronica said this is a legal matter. So I'm gonna say it this way. I would not be opposed, you know, to somehow stumbling upon said video and I wouldn't have any remorse in seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Veronica. And, and God is Bella 13. Hit us with the $10. She says, peace and life to everyone. Salute and respect to all the men making it possible for women like myself to feel safe and protected. Thank you. And you are most welcome, sister. You are most welcome. Appreciate that. And shout out to the Lady J. That Lady J says her story is as botch as her body. Ooh. Unfortunately, it is. <laughs> shout out to uh, Mason facing I tall. One All right. Shout out to Mason. Come through with the $10. Says now her lying ass got to watch what she's saying, but all lies on the first show and it's documented. Please play while you're lying for your foe. 
<laughs> hey, Gwendolyn, I see you in the chat. You better be. Hey, I saw you, Gwendolyn. Mrs. Mrs. Byers. <laughs> yeah. This is wild. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Divine Photos. It says plot twist. Veronica Baby's father comes on Kendra. Hmm. Okay. I'm here for it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't know. This woman here has not had this much attention on her in her life. Uh, that tape she did, she had, she had much attention. She's yeah, she was forgotten. The whole world, all of a sudden, there we are. And uh, Zonda Man, Zonda Man, come through the five dollars. Says, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, Al. He says, none of these hyenas are truly single. They all have orbiters. Why even bother asking them if they have a man? Oh, shoot. Because one of them they man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, especially if you ain't looking for marriage or anything like that. Yeah, why bother? If you, yeah, who, yeah, who cares? At that point, I agree. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's rough out there. It's it's rough. Like you said, I don't even recommend y'all be looking for marriage anymore. Scrap that whole idea. Scrap it. Yeah. We said we on record saying that that's documented. Yeah, <laughs> marriage ain't marriage ain't for the weak, and it ain't for everybody. Ain't got ain't no sign language. It ain't for everybody. That's all. Shout out to my guy Joker Nutty Nate. Come through with the ten dollars. Says SBC Nation, are you not entertained up here? Yeah, it's been a wild night, Joker. Been a wild night, brother. <laughs> So <laughs> it ain't gonna get no less wild. I can feel that. So here we go. We're gonna let them keep cooking. Um, I love it. I love it that she showed up this time and it, with that covered up, like y'all keep saying, looking more presentable, still can't have all her tattoos, acting like she's a now she, all of a sudden she's a lady. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, I was looking for my drop here. Apparently, I ain't got it no more, but y'all get the picture here. So here we are. We're going to get back into it. Hit the like button. Like I said, we was missing 200 likes. That was egregious. Mm. But here we are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? El Paulino says, hit the like button. This lady is not done yet. So we're going to get right back into it. I see we got a couple more. Q, what it do? Come through. One of our huge supporters, uh, the sponsor, the last couple shows said, come through to $20. Hello, everyone. I need to refresh my memory. This is the same woman who was on Sunday who was looking for a friend first. Stop mm -hmm. lying. Yep. Yeah, got to be a friend first. She don't want nobody moving too fast, trying to get married. She just looking for a friend to hunch. And shout out to Graves. Uh, come through. Says with twenty dollars. Says, hey guys, I always watch the show. I've been broke, too broke to support. Says income tax finally hit. Okay, money, 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 money. <laughs> and says I'm finally putting my money in the pot. And always, I always hit the like button. Yeah, Boom, Hey, That's we appreciate dope. it. We appreciate your support when you can. That's too dope. Thank you, Graves. Yeah, Graves, Graves, Rochelle. I don't know that Lachelle. I know some of y'all pronounce. I don't want to start messing with people's how y'all pronounce y'all names anymore. Because I'm always uh, off. They, but Graves Lachelle, yeah, we appreciate you. Yes, for sure. The chat on one. I tell you, the chat is on one. Here we go. Listen, Veronica, this is what Did I'm doing right now. Him? This is what I'm doing right now. You're the fact check. I'm giving you the opportunity to fact check. But you're not. I can are only you, fact check with you, Are you Veronica? really giving me the opportunity? Are you really Veronica, giving me the opportunity? Veronica, Veronica. Here's the deal. I'm gonna say it for I'm the four time. I'm gonna di digress and take. I'm gonna say back. it for the first. I'm gonna say it for the fourth time. You volunteer the information about not having surgery. I didn't even ask the question. You volunteer the information. A lot of information. So now I'm, I'm asking it's you funny now. To me how you're so stuck now on I'm asking you now, thing. Veronica. And it's showing. Is that a true statement that you and said? It's showing. Right? And like I said, too much. Okay, we we done. We done. 
We done. We done. We done. We done. Child, let me tell you something. The rules of this show. No videos come down and I call nobody. You call me. Plain and simple. Now the fact that you're not willing to answer the question that you offered to us. I never even asked you if you had body surgery. Never was going to ask you if you had body surgery. You said you never had body surgery. Now I didn't ask you three times if you want to confirm or deny that. And every time I ask, it, the attorney is involved. The attorney, how could the attorney be involved in something that you volunteered to tell the world? That question would have never came up. But now all of a sudden, you, you can't say legally if you had body surgery or not? Child, listen, let me tell you something, child. <laughs> the one thing about this is you guys play yourselves all the time. I've been doing this show for four years. If you didn't know about it, that's on your ass. <laughs> that is on your ass. If you don't know about the show, there's plenty of videos. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on YouTube. Plain and simple. This is and she over here at Single by Choices. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! So, y'all knows about Kendra. Stop the cap. Yeah. And yeah, see, y'all sisters know that that's insulting. You know, she said, I don't even know who you were. That's That, that could have went without. She didn't have to say that. Yeah, Kendra, know who Kendra is? Yeah, Kendra handled herself very well. I'm going to give that credit to her man. See what a man would do? Because Kendra, if you ask me, Kendra was real snappy, you know, months ago. But a man coming, a good man coming to your life and look how it transformed you. Kendra had all the patience. She said, oh, calm down, Bonquisha. I'm trying to fact check with you. Bonquisha wasn't having it. She tried to bring her down to her level. Good job, Kendra. Good job. And like I said, two things is true. Maybe she didn't, like I said, unbeknownst to us, like Kendra is a huge thing, you know, like a you know D list celebrity, whatever. But a lot of people don't know about Kendra, you That's know. True. Like, like I said, I was talking to my sister one time and some of her friends. They this was a while back, and you know I said, "Y'all don't know who Kendra is?" It's like, "No, who is that?" I'm showing them the videos and stuff, and they like I've never seen it. That's true. But like Kendra said, Kendra, and I love it. Kendra always said with her chest, she said, "I don't call none of y'all. Y'all call me, and she is right." She said, oh, yeah, so you ain't got to know me, but you called me. Stop, yeah, stop that cat, stop that uh that uh slide this and sneak this and you know, you know enough to call my line, <laughs> bone quisha. So here we go, man. We're gonna move off of this. Um right. that was a lot. That was a lot. And like I said, if you watching Veronica, here's your time. I'm gonna drop the link in the chat. All right, for Veronica. If you want to come up, all right, you're more than welcome because she's liable to be watching y'all. Y'all be surprised. Okay. They are fit to get the chat is Owen. They talking about Kendra's bundles looking a little thin. <laughs> y'all are too much, man. Y'all too much. But do y'all see what happens whenever when these hyenas get caught in a lie? She she clearly lied about being the not being divorced. Clearly, clear as day. There was no other way to interpret that. How the freak ever, when Kendra caught her in that lie, she still never, ever, ever said, I did lie. She never said it. She never said, I did lie. She said, if that's how if that's how you want to roll with it. Do y'all not understand that is uh, grade A, unparalleled, sick modern woman who do. She's she never going to admit that she lied. Not going to say the L word. You see, if that's what you want to roll with, okay, you got that. Not, I'm so sorry there, that I'm a liar. So there we go, Veronica. If you're watching, I dropped the link in the chat a couple of times. You're more than welcome to come up, Veronica, and clear the air. If we, you know, we can stand corrected. We will stand, and maybe we're wrong. Maybe you got some facts and some proof, you know. There you so. go. There you go. Because, Veronica, me personally, I don't think you were treated fairly. <laughs> I think you didn't have a chance to say what you need to say, and you should have got your chance. I do. I think it was a lot of slander and 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 mis miscommunication and and all that going on. You need to come up here and you know give it to the Lord. <laughs> so there's the link, Veronica. In the meantime, shout out to Nisha. 
five dollars. She says backtracking a little bit. So Debraca is Dime actual name. I really thought her name was Diamond, and Mr. Walker made Debraca up as a joke. <laughs> you see, her yeah, Mr. Very... Walker, you like to get real technical with Dime. Y'all know, yeah, Mr. Walker. yeah, because you got to call them out by names. <laughs> yeah, oh, don't be playing with these 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 entities. <laughs> Debraca. See you, Debraca. <laughs> Shout out to Red Pill Ranger. He says she like a kid that gets mad when they get caught. That part. <laughs> Shout out to Rich Eye Media. Says Robert, Robert, Gail to Robert, Kendra, Veronica, Veronica. <laughs> that was bad. her composure, though. Shout out to Kendra. Stood on her square. Yeah, she did. Veronica said, Kendra, is that camera on? Kendra said, yes, it's on. <laughs> and shout out to Gavin X, Mr. Walker, and the Single by Choice Nation. Much love on what y'all doing. It's Mason facing it all here to stay. Okay. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Okay. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, hopefully you stick around and, you know, be back for the next show. And stick around for the rest of this show, brother. We appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Uh, shout out to Blessing. Been a channel member for one month. Says, please hit the like button. Support your interest, people. That part. Thank you, Blessing. And I see Squeegee Kid. I'm sorry, Skinny Boy come through. <laughs> Skinny Boy 20 Boys says, all right, fellas, Veronica or Diamond? Two. Why y'all want to play these wicked games, man? Well, you know what? First thing first, I'll say this: neither, because because both of them, well, both of them right now are technically married. Yeah. So Veronica and Diamonds both married. So should none of y'all be dating them? Times out. So we up here laughing and joking, but y'all better be careful, sisters, because y'all can't be let. Can y'all laugh at these sisters? They married. And y'all know these unholy matrimonies, they hold them to the same esteem as a holy matrimony. So, yeah, the Braca and Big Veronica, they married, huh? They, legally. They, illegally. These is ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Shout out to Blessing. She gifted the Channel One membership as well. We appreciate that. Um, Joker Nate Nate says, Gavin next, we're unk at because she was killing me softly. Ooh. Let me see if we still got Unk in here. There we go. Draw me my pain with a finger. Singing my life with the world. Killing me softly with a song. Killing me softly with her song. Yeah, shout out Joker Day Nate. She's killing us all softly. <laughs> and shout out to Who's the Master says, I wonder why she sent the tape. What do you mean? She, she said, was, yeah, she admitted to it. She said, I sent it to him after we were split. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. Never, <laughs> that's like asking why you take the stake to the vampire's heart. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Why don't you why hit the vampire with the wooden stake? Yeah. Huh? Sad trying to send dude. that brother to cardiac arrest is what she was trying to do. Shoot. Perfect crime. Now I ain't gonna give y'all no sick hand. Yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> that's that's wicked work. Yeah, that part. So and shout out to Ben Great since 78. I ain't got no time to play. I'm just gonna make that goddamn money and keep it moving. You hear me? Just stack, just stack, just stack, just stack and stack and stack. You hear me? Mm. They came through the honey ball, Mr. Walker. Just a super sticker. Nothing to say. That's been great since 78. I concur. Appreciate you, big dog. Much love and respect. Thank you. That's huge energy. <laughs> count it, count it, count it, count it, count it, <laughs> count it. Do what? Count it. What are you doing? Count it. Feeling money. Count it. Count it. <laughs> Shout out. Been great. You are one of the show sponsors right now, along with Natty Leo and Veronica. All right. We're going to keep the show moving. That wasn't it. 
What are we doing with her one last time? So we'll bring her back. What y'all want to do with Veronica before we move on? Holy cow. You know what? I'm pretty sure we didn't. I think we sent her to Glace Galaxy. There's life up there. You know, there's there's tours to do. There's tasks to be <laughs> to do up there. But I think she done. Her 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 work is done here on Earth. It's time to send her to the blind me deep. Yeah, <laughs> Jason, Jason Horry got to get up out of here, man. <laughs> All right. Well, Glaze Galaxy. Here we go. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh no, I see this shit is gonna be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get it. dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. You hear me? I played the fool for a fool. I got, um, feeling, I got a feeling Veronica going to be back, man. <laughs> Dude. So there we go. Veronica did not hit the link, so we're going to keep the show moving. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. Right, she so. Shoot. What else? We're going to reach out to her, though. We're going to reach out to her on the back end. Maybe we can get to the bottom of it in the future. Mm-hmm. Listen, Veronica, we got $40. <laughs> so, yeah, that would have been good, but nonetheless, we're going to keep it moving. The back end of this show is much more crazier than anything Veronica was doing. I'm telling you, right there. Impossible. All right. Impossible. All right. Shout out to your Kunay, Nate. Skinny boy. Big dime for the win. Always. <laughs> hey, Joe Kunay, that's your girl. He like Big Dime. Yeah, me shit. too. Me and Joker. We love dime around here, man. You're right in the shin. Wow. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Tanya. Says it may be time for Veronica emoji. Huh. Shoot, she gonna replace Carly Cat? Who lies more? Golly. There you go. In that context, yeah, I about to say ain't no glory behind it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Shout out to Skinny Boy. He says, Joker Nate, Nate, shut your line and your lips. Man. <laughs> Y'all rough in the chat. Shout out to Mrs. DC Foel. Uh, Miss DC Foil been the channel member for four months. Says, I honestly didn't know who Kendra was until a Facebook post. You see, fair wonder how many of y'all found Kendra from Single by Choices. That'd be wild. Mm, so, huh. shout out to Racha Media. Says, Gavin, next, are we going to Milwaukee tonight? Yes, yes, we are. Oh, We're going wow. to Milwaukee. Uh-oh. Hold on. No, we're about to head all over. Like I said, it's a lot on this back end. So I feel like we're going to be up here for a minute. So hold on to your seat belts. All that'd right. be funny. Yeah, get a map. She's like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? We're in Milwaukee today, huh? Hmm. So, huh. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this sister. I feel like, look, no, we're just going to do $40 skips. All right. We're going to see. All right, this woman came on right after uh, Veronica, and and she was just as wild. So here we go. Impossible. Where, where's where, where, where is Far Out? Where is Far Out? And then I, when had I, had you... snack. I, I had to get a snack. I had to get some ice cream for that show. That was <laughs> terrible. Well, let me just say, I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. I got my body done in case anybody <laughs> worried about it. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Worry about your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kendra. How do I pronounce your name, sweetheart? Is it Natoya? It's, it's Natoya, but I go by Toya. Okay, I'll call you Toya. So, Toya, did you really have body surgery? Girl, I did, girl. I had a son, and let me tell you, he was not finna leave me looking like no busted can of biscuits. No, (laughs) ma'am. I already knew I was going to be a single mother, Kendra, so I couldn't be a single mother and fat. It wasn't going to be me. Well, how'd you know you was going to be a single mother? What? Kendra. First of all, you know what? I ain't even going to slander him because he's trying to do right. So we're going to... 
but he he didn't do right from the beginning. I was like, you know, you ain't even gonna like the baby can't hurt you while he in my stomach. Like, you know, I oh, wait, 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 you. Say, say it again. The baby, what? Yeah, I was like, you know, the baby, you know, he can't hear me. You know, when I was pregnant, like, you know, come around so the baby can hear you and he can know you when he come out, right? Girl, he didn't want to do nothing. I was like, man. Toya, how old are you, honey? Let's start there. I'm 35. 35. And where do you live, babe? I live outside of DFW. So right outside of Dallas. DFW? Yeah, right outside of Dallas. Okay, Toya, 35, DFW. Do you have any kids? One son. One son. How old is your son? He's four. All right. So first thing first. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> she's drunk. So, Kendra, she these women, they be all of them. They drunk. After, I think after 8 p.m., after 8 p.m., wherever you live, I would say probably 80% of women are drinking after 8 p.m. Mm, is that it? 8 p.m. and it's up and it's stuck? All right, fair. This sister up here talking about she done had, you know, got weight loss surgery, got all nipped and tucked, you know, and 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 yet, in the wee hours of the night, she definitely drinking and eating a ice cream cone. We not we really gonna act like <laughs> that's not a thing. Like she, that's why these sisters be on their second and third BBLs. You you got to change your lifestyle. She up here more, drinking alcohol and eating ice cream. That is wicked work. <laughs> there we go. The modern madness. So we're gonna let her go. Hit the like button, folks. Oh, you just had. It? Oh, you just had a son. Yeah, he's four. He turned four at the end of December. Okay, and you guys were were you ever with a child's father? Why you're not together? So, I was married for ten years, and I was married to a woman. Okay, I'm gonna just put that out there. I I know, girl. I know, girl. I'm coming with the tea, girl, and the snacks. <laughs> I know, girl. My fact, what my drink? Yeah. It's, it's one of them. So right after I separated from my ex-wife, um, we had kind of like, he, I had met him before, but like we started talking probably like maybe a month in the first time we had sex, I got pregnant. This is and your, maybe this that, is your, so this is when you, so you was married to a woman? Mm-hmm. And when did you get so divorced? We, we was only married for about, I guess we got married probably like in 2014 and we got divorced in 2019, but we was together since 2010. And of course, when she proposed a year in, it wasn't no gay marriages. So I ain't think nothing was going to ever come about it. <laughs> but then she kind of, she almost died. She was in the military. Aww. And with me being her fiance, they really wasn't letting me, like, you know, really giving me much information at the military hospitals. Like, wasn't acknowledging our relationship, basically. So when she got better, it was kind of like, you know, let's get married. I'm going to put you on this million dollar life insurance policy. And I was like, let's do it. But then she was like, call your friend. We're going to do it next week. And I was just like, whoa. So, but then I was like, you know, if something happened to a, I need to be compensated for my stress. <laughs> so I went on and did it. Um, but <laughs> we uh, we had a really good relationship, actually. Okay, so when did you get divorced from her? In 2019. Okay, so when did you meet your child, your four-year-old dad? In 2019. But we know, I met him in probably like 2017, but we never talked like that because he respected my marriage. Okay, so, so now, we, mm -hmm. now did you guys ever pursue a relationship or you just happened to get pregnant by him? No, no, we tried. We tried. Um, and I knew early on, and it was like right when I was like, he ain't the one. <sighs> That's when I found out I was pregnant. Huh. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me. You feel me? So she lying. She first said it was a one night stand. Now she said it's in a relationship. But let's go with your first thing. One night stand. Are we buying this people at this point? I uh, grant you, I'm guessing a small percentage of these women are telling the truth. But how can because there's couples out there that spend years trying to have a baby in they but it seems like nug nug. One time, pregnant, Nug Nug going around. He like Jay-Z. 
He go in the studio, take one drop, one drop. No, no, like I ain't writing nothing down. All right, it's off the top. One drop. I'm not going in and out the studio. One drop. <laughs> and it's gonna hit. It is. It ain't gonna flop. You gonna get pregnant. Let's let's try to put some science behind it. Is it fair to say that whenever Bone Queen should do meet up with these nug nugs in these environments, the bar, the club, and these instances where she do wind up pregnant off of one night stands, that it only happens because she ain't she's not acknowledging her nature and she probably ovulating. So she up in the club ovulating and she don't know why she's so horned up and why Dusty Black Air Force Nug Nug is getting her roused up. And then you wind up with a bastard baby. A one take baby. We'll start calling them one take babies or something. One take. All right. How? That's got to be. Man, is Nug Nug's um, whiz more powerful than an uh, average man? Because it seemed like it's always Nug Nug, it's always a one night stand, and she always pregnant. Well, Nug Nug is whizzing for survival. So, could be some, some powerful whiz. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I'm trying to... Here we go. Nug Nug is the great <laughs> wizard. <laughs> Holy hell. Yeah! So here we go. Shout out to my guy Q. He says, can't get right, got two babies. We love you, can't get right. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos with the $10. We appreciate you, brother. Says, her presentation was wonky. She came on here drunk. BBL was married to a woman. Red flag. If a dude was rainbow all his life, all of a sudden said he likes ladies, he would be looked at weird. That part. Well, let's talk. That, that's a bit of a double standard, though. Like, because sexually, women are the submissive of the sexes. So a woman submit to a woman is, is taboo. But it's different. <laughs> it's definitely different from a man. She. It's, it's definitely different, but I, I can hear what they're saying because nowadays, you know, these women uproot and lead their whole family for a woman. Which that's is different. Crazy. That's different. That is, that's very much different. I, I agree at the very same time. Yeah, for men, ain't no. And as a man, you got to look at yourself too. If your woman lead you for a woman, man. That part. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> shout out to your daddy plug he said she got her body done and still built like a diglet <laughs> uh, shout out to dig diglets <laughs> <laughs> shout out to grave lachelle says i ain't gonna lie y'all channel made me stay with my man i'll i'm already fold for two y'all not finna flame me yeah I don't care what nobody say. We doing something over here. That's what it's all about, Graves. We trying to help people make sense. Graves, you just made our night. Ain't nothing these wicked women can say to bring us down. We trying to bring families together. There you go, Graves. Appreciate you for your testimony. <laughs> there you go. Shout out to the CEO, G Honda. Come back with the $20. He says, for Mr. Walker's Prius, count it. Glade, he said, Glade Strike on the rocket, count it. Mr. Walker's shirt, fun, count it. However, and I'll you. All right, well, let me listen, get back into it, dear. Listen, if I ever get a Prius, G Honda, I'm going to put a picture of you on the hood now. There we go. <laughs> So he promised me that he was going to do right and everything. So I was like, okay, because look, let me know. Because if you ain't, I'm not going to be no single mama. Like we can send him back to Jesus, like whatever, because I'm not going to do that. And I want to do that to my child. So he promised me he was going to do right. And girl, he played me. But it's okay, because we thugged it out. We, we rocked it. God is good. He's provided for us. So I'm real grateful. But yeah, we did have a, sl a small relationship. Real, real small, real small, and then you know it, it just wasn't gonna work. And I knew probably like by I think I was like three months pregnant when I found out, and yeah, I ended it. Okay, well let's keep going. So we got Toya, thirty-five. You live in Dallas? Mm-hmm. Dallas. Right Dallas. 
And what do you do for a living, Toya? So I'm a mortgage loan officer. A mortgage loan officer. And I'm also a debt counselor. So okay. I got a nine to five and I'm independent on the mortgage. And what's the zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Oh, a yeah. Gemini. All right, let's get into it. We got Toya, 35 Dallas, a mortgage loan officer, debt counselor, mom to a four year old. Um, she said she's divorced and she got a body done, child. What kind of, well, well, what are you looking for tonight, a man or a woman? Oh, no, no, no. So I'm done with the gay lifestyle. Huh. That was like one in a million. And, and and that's one of the things, Kendra, I hate telling me in that because it's like they automatically assume like we're going to do a threesome. Like, no, if that was the case, I'd just be back with my wife. Like, I'm not going to do that. So, um, yeah, no, nah, my my parents are pastors. So I think it was always a long term internal struggle. So, yeah, I'm done with that lifestyle. I'm looking for a husband. Yes. Men only. Okay, men only. Men only. All right, let's get into it. What kind of man you looking for, babe? I would like someone who is consistent. I think that's one of the hardest things that I've been able to find. It's someone that's just consistent. Um, you know, attractive. <laughs> Want a little eye candy. Um, but more so, you know, just somebody that's stable. You know, somebody that got their stuff together. I'm at a very good spot in my life. And I'm not in a position to try to build a man. At this point, I need you to already come prepared and ready to move forward. Um, I've been single for about, since, really since I've been divorced. But I did have a little situation that ended at the beginning of 2022. So since then, I've just been, you know, scouting. You know, been browsing. Scouting. I've been browsing, Kendra. <laughs> oh, and I haven't found anyone that, you know, I feel is worthy of, you know, that level of me. Because I know how to be a wife. I was a good wife for a long time. And I understand everybody don't deserve that treatment. And I think men don't get that. Like, you're not going to get no why benefits from me and i'm not even your girlfriend and at this age i'm not trying to be your girlfriend let's be real I'm gonna be knocking on 40. so that's that's well, let me ask you this i'm gonna bring this up now i know we know the backstory but mm -hmm. you do have a child under the age of five so what would you say to the guy that might be concerned that you have a four-year-old well i would say um yeah, life happens. I mean, I'm 35, so I mean, I think I'm pretty still pretty cool. I was trying to see she was about to say something crazy, but <laughs> like she said, she almost 40. She's acting like this. She got a small baby. I don't know. She said she's 35. She thinks she's still pretty cool. Y'all know what that is? That's the sound of her forehead lightly tapping on the wall. I think I'm still pretty cool. <laughs> I think so. She has yet to smash her head through it. Then she knows she ain't pretty cool in her predicament. Yeah, she's talking about she a whole wife. And let's get this clear. Stop. Y'all don't make the rules after y'all go scissor timbers. If you scissor timbers at one time, is it safe to, and your man know, is it safe to say you owe him that menage if he requested? You done been with a woman before. Now she says, let's, let's huh? Why not? Don't play them games. If you was you was freaky with them, you can't be more freaky in the past than you are with your with your with your new husband. Hmm? That ain't fair. <laughs> and shout out to Derek B. He come through with the 20. Uh Jihanda beat you to the punch. He caught his own alley -oop. He said, skip baby mama. Parents or pastors was rainbow now wants a man. I didn't is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. that's stupid. Use your common sense. There you go. Hey, so, Robert was selling that. He was trying his best to not go to prison. <laughs> yeah, that was it for her. So shout out to Patrick. He come through the five dollars. He says one eight baby mamas. 
one one or eight baby mamas they are the prize you can't make this ish up free ride and for free he says for a free ride is <laughs> free ride I don't know what they y'all need to start with this Da Vinci Code text. <laughs> yeah, we told y'all we dyslexia. I think y'all get a kick out of that, huh? So shout out to Patrick. All right. So Derek, you still got your skip in your back pocket. He says Ali you successful. All right. Out of here. What are we doing with her? Big band, make another example. Ejector, just ejector. Oh, okay. okay. Get out of here. Yeah, she <laughs> she giving funk. You smell it, bro. Man, dust. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind. <laughs> hey, at least you're telling the truth. And El Castigador says that mouth pop. Big deal breaker. F out of here. Mm -hmm. Hate that. Yo, Mike, a little muffle gaff. Okay. And we got a, a cash app here. Are we sound a cash app from the mask man. Come through the two dollars. Says Super Saiyan three Veronica about to go great, great eight, great eight on them. Man, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall wherever she Veronica was at after that call. Man, the lies she was telling, the cursing. Oh, you know, it was crazy. She poured up another drink. Yeah, she got off that wine, got on the bourbon, rolled up, rolled up, up a dude. <laughs> and shout out to Mass Man. He come back again. He says, authentic black and mild booty lips. Holy hell. God, dog. Yeah, this one here, she do got him. Yeah, let's see if we can catch her Kendra cam actually. So I'm gonna go back. Um, yeah, she's so proud. She's so proud to let us know that she got her body done. Let's see if it was worth it. There you go. So we'll take a second to do that before we move off of her. Covered in tattoos, still. You heard these arm tattoos? That's crazy work. Talking about you a wife? How sway? How? So I'm going to let life. this try to catch this time stamp here. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. We're about to see what this BBL body hitting for. Yeah, we got you, Rainbow Kid. Here we go. Uh... <laughs> I want to see this. And the arms don't ever match. There you go. The arms Shut up. Up. I said on Instagram tonight that I need to start probably mm -hmm. drinking when I host this damn show. Girl. Hey, hey, you is right. You hey. is right. And, and look, we drinking the good stuff, Kim. <laughs> oh, oh my. Yeah. All right. So, Toya, <coughs> does the guy have to make a certain amount of money? I wouldn't put a dollar figure on it. I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't put a dollar figure on it because I'm where I'm at. All on me. Me and God. So I don't need a man to take care of me. Um, I do believe I can help. 5'11 is only one inch shorter, but okay. What about money? Fine, Kendra. We they take baby steps. Five eleven. I said on Instagram tonight. Trying to catch um, I do believe, you know, I'm where I'm at, all on me. Doesn't have to be a certain. Doesn't have. To no, it ain't. Where I'm at, I <laughs> that drink time. me and God. Yeah, she drinking that white Hennessy. I seen that. Oh, it's just ignorant. If you ask me, man, ignorant. There we go. Play last. Play last. Let me. That's let me put a Hold on. Okay. Let's see this body. She said. She said. She did say. Okay. Okay, waist going, waist booty. There you go, booty. Oh, booty pop. There you go, fella. Huh? She got the BBL going. A big old booty, and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. <laughs> all right, all right. BBL look like it took well, but the pose is goofy. But whatever. 
Still ain't gonna help you none. You just you just more desirable for me, Clash, and that bees about it. Wait, hold up. What's going on with this room? Is that wallpaper halfway up the wall? What am I seeing? I ain't never seen it. No dang on. <laughs> Listen here. I am a rough man. I should not be calling out grown women on they decorating. Like, come on, man. Like, sir, that sh it looks terrible. She did that perfect. Say less. Say less. Let me. That's let me put my little like. dress down. Hold on. Let's see this body. She said. She said. She did say. Okay. Okay. Waist going. Waist booty. Oh, booty pops. Wait. Oh. Whoop, do that. Hey, have me busted and single. Mm -mm. That's how these men do. They just want to ruin your life. I had just bought a brand new Cadillac. Look who thinking I'm finna just hot girl summer. Shut it all the way down, girl. Shut it all the way down. Oh. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me. You feel me? <laughs> this your wife. She she was a wife and she said she's ready to be a wife again. Well, she was a husband. I guess I don't know how they do that when this when it's two when it's scissoring. All right. She was one of them. She was a wife before she ready to be a wife again. And she talking about hot girl summer up here drinking Hennessy White. And I don't know what she mixed it with. It looked like it tastes disgusting. But yeah, this this is this is treacherous work over this. Good BBL though. Look better than most of them. Hope you can get some good quality meats like you desire. Good luck. Oh, and shout out to A Skate says Mr. Walker G Honda boxing match for the SBC belt. Ooh, <laughs> I would love. Listen, there, I keep telling y'all I'm ignorant like that. I would love to do like a celebrity boxing match. Oh, I love testing myself, testing my will. And I don't mind getting punched in the face. It's a good time. Man. You feel alive. If you ain't never been punched in the face as a man, you're missing out. It's a hell of an experience. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to Red Pill Ranger. He says, y'all got an email or business IG? Yeah, we got an email. It's in the description area. I know Danny Nicole had dropped it earlier in the chat, but it's in the description area of the channel. So if you go to the channel and click, and click the description area, I want to say it's cart, letter B, number four, horse productions. But yeah, go and double check in the description area. There you go. So shout out to my guy Joker Nutty Nate. That is the um email there, Red Pill Ranger. For any inquiries, brother. We're gonna bring this next one out. This is a wild one. We're gonna get y'all blood pressures, <laughs> get y'all. Um, I know some of y'all. This ain't about to last too long, um, but <laughs> what we got? Big big back bay. Uh, somebody, somebody, let me guess. It's a real guess. They're either huge or they about 75, 80 years old. <laughs> but yeah, y'all talking about doing a celebrity boxing. That's dope. That's a good thing. Like I said, shout out to the Godfather. That's that's good for men. Women shouldn't be doing it. That's barbaric. But it's good for men to spar and test your will. It's healthy. It's good for you. So here we go, folks. Hit the like button. Half off, shorty. Here we go. Here late. You're here late. I know I'm late. I'm late. No, I said, no, I said your hair is late. Oh, thank you. Yeah, all natural. I used to wear the wigs, but I ain't doing it no more. Woo! Shout out, swing it <laughs> to the side, to the side. To the side, to the left, to the right. I could flip it, but I don't want to redo it again because I'm about to wrap it. <laughs> I better wrap it up. Okay. Your name is Starla? Yes, Star. That's my nickname my family call me, but my real name's Gerard. Um, Gerard? Yes. With Gerard. a J, not a G. Okay. And where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Georgia. Um, I've been here for a year and a half. All right, y'all have spoken. Y'all have spoken. Shout out to Q, what it do? <laughs> uh, is it safe? <laughs> 
Uh, listen here. Over here at Single My Choices, we equal opportunity. Uh, judges, all right? We ain't employers. We are equal opportunity judges. We do not discriminate, you know? Nevertheless, it does appear that this is uh, becoming, you know, uh, a non a non bussy area, but we'll see. Nevertheless, skip. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Q what it do came through, and that was definitely um. No, Keisha Tron, where you at? No, Keisha Tron was in the house. Big energy. All right, it's. Mm. I don't even yeah. know what it mean. When it might be gone for good, that might be a good thing. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> No Keisha Tron, folks. Oh. Hey, all right. But like I said, it skip. <laughs> it skipped. It happens. You know, we here's the thing now. There's no discrimination. The person that got skipped the fastest up here was a whole woman. And she didn't even get a chance to speak. We don't even know what she sound like. We put her up on camera and y'all skipped her. That was sick work. So, you know, <laughs> star Diamond Rivera. At least got to speak. Kudos to Say, you. stop wearing wigs. He said, you heard about that traction alopecia. Start. Oh, this is hell. See that? The wait a minute. We got something from that. A gym. <laughs> See that? Even as feminine as this male is, that Y chromosome still managed to come through with some logic. And Star said, you know, I seen the traction alopecia and that Y chromosome can't override it. So I said, take them wigs off, Star. And Star did. So here we are. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to uh, Q What It Do, Skippity Skip, and Divine Photos looking like Kurt Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Y'all going to do Kurt like that? And I see Divine or Richard Media. Here we go. He, Richard Media come through with the 100 ball. Says Gavin next, Mr. Walker. I can't make the Milwaukee trip tonight. Good night, SBC chat at Leon King. You were right past my bedtime. Good night, y'all. <laughs> Shout out to Richard Media. But man, I'm saying because I don't even know what this Milwaukee thing is about. It's going over my head. But yeah, brother, wish you could stay around for the trip. I'm gonna be here. <laughs> yeah, as crazy as tonight has been, as all the nights are lately, there's so much more on the back end of this show, it ain't even funny. So if y'all know, y'all know. But shout out to Richa for the hundred ball. <laughs> can it, can it, can it, can it, can it, can it, do what can it? What do you know can it? Feeling money. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Shout out to Racha. And we got some more super chats here, Mr. Walker. Shout out to the tax master. Come through with his $25 like he do. He says, you guys are cooking tonight. Got my house smelling like hot grease. Where is my lemon pepper air freshener? <laughs> Appreciate you, tax master. <laughs> And shout out to the mask man. He's in the cash app again. He says, can't afford to skip, but to the plate need passing. So he sent a couple of dollars through the cash app. So he can't afford that whole skip, but appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs> shout out to Ben Great since 78, one of the show sponsors. Says, what in the two Wong Fu is going on here? Up there like Pai Mei. <laughs> Rip your eyeball out your head. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Skinny Boy come through with the madness. Says, all right, fellas, Preacher's Kid Kudakata or Juwana Man, Preacher's Kid for the win. <laughs> you work. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> God damn. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Free shout out to El, Casti El Castigador. Says, WNBA in the his house. Indeed, shit, don't go. Star Dunk. Yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> Shout out to Danny Nicole, the silent assassin. Says, since I'm still awake, rewind. Oh, my gosh. 
They okay. Yeah, I was checking to see. I was making sure. I thought we had more than one person skip, but apparently. Danny, Danny yeah, Nicole. You. Forget you, Honda. The, Danny Nicole is one of the most sneakiest of these persons. Well, I'm going to let it go because they bought, this ain't going to last long. This ain't going to last long. Here we go. Half moved from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, sorry. I was eating something. Star. <laughs> see, what, wait, what do you want me to call you? Star. Okay, Star. Georgia. And how old are you? I am 35. My birthday was last month. I'm actually a triplet, so we all share the same birthday. Uh, are you guys identical? Um, the girls are, yes. But oh, we do so favor each other, yes. Oh, okay, so the girls are, so it's triplets, so two girls and one boy. Yep. Okay, and what is your zodiac sign? I am a Capricorn, live and living color, okay? <laughs> no surgery, no nothing. You know, I'll put that disclosure out there because the craziness that was downstairs... I was downstairs. I was like, I'm going to need a drink. I was praying for you to deal with that. <laughs> you like Terminator. Y'all keep trying them. You keep trying them. D Honda, uh, listen here, brother. With that move, let's bury the hatchet, man. I appreciate you. I do. Listen here. It's the only time you're going to get this olive branch, Ninja. All right, we're gonna bury the hatchet. All right, since you since you blessed us, brother, and spared us that, because I don't know where that was gonna go. All right, let's bury the hatchet and start over new. We appreciate you, G Honda. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> uh, here you go. So G Honda, come back. All right, Dave Nicole tried, but G Honda says out of here. Yeah, All right, I, I can curse. Hey, hey, I, okay, I got to get this off. So, Star Star said that uh, it was <laughs> who Star was born with two other <laughs> siblings. Star is a triplet, and Star said that the other two are girls. And that you know, yeah, y'all know the joke. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Is Dar come up here like? Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB and I also bartend. My name is Optimus Prime. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. <laughs> All right. Shout out to this guy, man. We're going to keep it moving. We're just going to keep it moving. Yeah! Boom, Saka Laka! <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, my goodness. No, Keisha Tron in the flesh, in the flesh. If you never see no Keisha Tron, folks. Twenty twenty four. Welcome, y'all. Did this? We just reported it. All right, we just who was that? Who that goofy dude? Paul Revere said the uh, the British are coming. We just the scouts ran through, letting y'all know. All right, the hyenas are coming. Bonquisha is coming. Now, Keisha Tron is coming. All right. Big Box Bay is coming, and y'all ain't trying to hear us. <laughs> All right. I'm going to heed the warning. This is wild. We're going to keep it moving. Oh, boy. Man. <laughs> where you at? Uh, where you at? Where I need you. Oh, my. My guy. My guy. Uh, Mythmus. Mythmus Stan. We're big Stan. Man. We need you, Stan. You still move, Stan? Still. Right? That's we heard of Stan, but you know, those of you that don't know, we had Stan G up here on the show. Stan G came through dropping some gems and rubies. Then he said he's going to make movies with Tyler Perry. Ain't seen him since. Hope all is well. He came up here, called y'all lames and suckers, and then he went to shoot movies with Tyler Perry. Mm. <laughs> here we go. Shout out. I gotta get this thing updated here. Shout out to Richai Media, who is uh, one of the show sponsors tonight as well. As Q would it do? So I'm gonna get this and G Honda. G Honda came through. We appreciate you, G Honda. <laughs> All right. Shout out to your daddy plug. Says, I got a word. Buchisaurus. Ooh, nasty. Okay. <laughs> Y'all <You're> wildin'. <laughs> Shout out to who's the master. Says two girls, one boy, and they all like. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Here we go. I didn't know how to say it. That's who's the master. Thank you. I didn't know how to get it out. You did it so gracefully. <laughs> there we go. We'll keep it moving. 
hit the like button hit the like button my name is queen okay queen where you calling us from where you live um i live in vegas vegas how old are you love i am 27. 27. somebody behind you who's that yeah my friend <laughs> she, okay. she loves you she will put me on the show i love you too girl what's your um what's your zodiac sign babe i'm an aries aries you have any children i have two how old are your two kids two and three two and three both by the same man yes i was married when did you get divorced um like five months ago now are you illegally divorced because you know ex-husbands been calling my show blasting their wives i'm so legally does, divorced. does your husband know that y'all divorced it's a divorce, divorce. Yes. <laughs> he has a whole girlfriend we're like legally divorced because you saw what happened to veronica child her husband <laughs> me up. So they got mediation in april child all right so you legally divorced yes um how many years were you guys married for um it would have been five this year so four how do you get a girlfriend already i mean you just broke up five months ago y'all been separated oh we were separated for a year oh, okay gotcha yeah um what do you do for a living queen i work um in foster care in the county at the county okay so we got um so both of your kids are by your ex-husband correct yes mm -hmm. okay so we got queen vegas 27 aries works in foster care mom to two two and three um, by her ex-husband she got divorced five months ago why did you guys get a divorce um i just think we weren't really compatible we got married super young okay how, how um young were you when you got married i was 21. 21 okay all right queen what kind of man are you looking for now girl i'm looking for someone who's a protector provider um someone who's sweet like gentle like genuine um but is not afraid to cut somebody out over his girl. Hello. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm just looking for someone who's also into God as well. Um, yeah, and just loves on me, sweet on me. Okay. Now you said protector and provider. What does provider mean for you? Um, where I can just be in my soft girl era. Like, I don't have to worry about anything. Um, I will always have a job, but just knowing someone has me without me asking um, is what I'm looking for. Period. So I'm assuming, would you desire to get married again? Yes, for sure. So do you want to, you said you always have a job, so you're not saying you want to be a stay-at-home mom? No, but I want the option if I wanted to, um, because I am going to be a therapist, so that's my like career path and so I would love to just have my own practice and be able to go in when I want to and not because I need the money. Not because you need the money? Yeah, but because I just want to help. That's because you want to help. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Let me ask you the question again. Um, so you said you would work, yes. um, but you don't want Are you going to pay bills? I don't want to pay no bills. <laughs> no, I have to. <laughs> OK, but so you want to. So, so OK, you want a job, but you want a job that would just take care of the things that you desire, but you don't want to pay any bills. So you want a man that I mean, you do come with two children, two and three. So you want a man that would be willing to take care of you and your two children and and you just have like a miscellaneous job but nothing that would be to the point where you got to take care of the household yeah and it's not it's not a requirement like if i it's not a requirement like if i will always have a job so if it is like where i need to pay i will but i would love to just be able to just do what i love without having to worry about anything this is sick work this woman got two small kids she's looking to live a soft life this is going to end up being a cautionary tale as we cook this one ladies pay attention i want to make a point here and there's no other human on the face of this earth outside well only women can say I just, I don't want to pay no bills. I just want to be able to do what I want to do and get it out of life. With that being said, the fact that a woman that is a wife and is fit, feminine, cooperative, all that good stuff that's needed, she has the ability to say, I just want to be at home and do what I want to do. So can we not agree with that? that men are the prize and that women are the winners because they get to win an amazing lifestyle. Can we can we understand that? I'm going to keep pushing that to your ears bleed. <laughs> and we didn't, I done set this up here before about the whole children thing. 
It's like y'all walk around this earth oblivious to the fact, all right, to the fact, these are facts, that these kids, multiple little children, or I don't care what you think you look like, they are destroying your dating options. So I know you're looking in the mirror. Next time y'all looking in the mirror, I think all these women with kids, when y'all taking selfies for Instagram and stuff, y'all kids should be in the pictures at all times. I don't care if you twerking. I don't care what you're doing. Make sure your kids are staying there so the man can get the whole context. No, because then I can't work my hoodoo the way I want to. I can't I can't work my hoodoo if my little children is in the way it is uh, my dookie shooter. Got to see that. I'm talking about. <laughs> man, this is wild. <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. Come through like you do. Says modern woman code words. Generous. Soft girl era. Protector. Provider make 100K. All in all, she a lazy mofo. I agree. <laughs> Man. Shout out to the mother loving Red Pill Ranger. Come through. Says I sent a gift for Mr. Walker in y'all email. Nothing weird. LOL. <laughs> Had to get him the new car. Prius Pippin. Okay, I will see see what you're talking about, brother. Okay. Appreciate the red pill raging. <laughs> Shout out to Q2, what it do, come through with the $10. Says she works with kids in foster care, but went and broke up her family. Is this camera on me? Also, y'all hear her wee hyena friend in the background? Yeah. Her stood friend. <laughs> Man. Shout out to one of the show sponsors. Been great since 78. Come through like you do. Says, on my way to Vegas tomorrow. And hope not to see her. <laughs> Why not? My dear. Uh -huh. Good that time. part. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shout out to the Red Pill Ranger. Come through. Says, her tits had a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Tracy. Ed says, How can you not pay bills when you have two kids? It's blasphemy. I, I mean, seriously. That's, that's why I went on that tangent. Only only women can, can say that. And that's cool. But I don't think no. Works. Yeah. I'm, even <laughs> Sierra only had one kid. Even Russell, even uh Sierra's prayer only came with one kid. There you go. Come on. Yeah. Now. Look at look at the baby mama sis Landy's. Yeah. Even Janae Aiko. Janae Aiko is a baby mama. Was she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Janae. I never knew I that. Found out too. I did. Yep. Janae Aiko is a baby mama. And oh, well, hold on. I know she got a kid by Big Sean. Okay. Take that back there. I didn't know that was by Big Sean. No. 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 She got. Did a she kid have a kid before, before she met him? Yes, sir. She got it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So yeah. she already had a kid before she met him. Yes, sir. I know he yeah. knocked her up. He did, yeah, as he should have. But there you go. Again, okay. just, if y'all want the story of a Sierra, of a Janae Aiko, look at what like they bring 15. to me. How old is Janae Aiko? Hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. So she do got an older daughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Granted. So there we go. Right. Still trying to point home. See? <laughs> Holy hell. All right. Shout out to the pleasant L. Paulino. Come through the $5. Says, if you want to be a stay-at-home wife, come on the dating show. Clean and attractive, not sloppy and silly. Let me say the better my sister. Uh. <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. Come through like you do. Says, my question. So what was the point of getting a master PhD and other accolades just for a man to retire you? I thought they wanted equality. No, they don't. No, 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 senor. No, they, they want a soft life. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to El Castigador for the $2. Appreciate you, brother. Says put her in the sub and send her to Gilligan's Island with that dang old hat. She got a Gilligan's hat. <laughs> Shout out to the stack go himself, the squeegee kid. Comes through with the five bucks. Says to Veronica's ex-husband, here's another one you can marry in 45 days like you did with Veronica. Become the best Umar you can be. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. He knew her. Oh, 
we off of that though, but that's wild. But <laughs> once again, and when y'all hear us up here talking about, you know, even a woman like her, there's somebody out there for her. It's unfortunate, but some simp. Mm -hmm. Was that the dynamic with your ex-husband? No, he was broke. <laughs> Okay, and he so wasn't basically a protector, you asked him he for... wasn't a provider. He was not <laughs> So just to be, just to be. Hold on. Hell. She just sat here and popped the whole squat on her ex-husband. She said he was broke. He was not a protector. He was not a provider. And her friend in the back saying he was dusty. He was, they just beat that man down. She had two yep. kids by him. He was nothing. Broke, dusty, stank, funky. Didn't know how to comb his hair. Yet you gave him two kids. So again, the overwhelming question that they can't answer. What does that say about you? You gave him yeah. all that you can have give him. Kind of clear. You're asking for a man to provide for you more than your ex-husband and the child children of your father did. Yes. Or just be able to. I'm really independent, but I, I want to be able to just sit back and someone, you know, just have me. Do you want to have more children? If that was a requirement for them, I would have another one. Could he have kids already? Yeah. Okay. Not no what five, five baby. Not five with five baby mamas, like the uh, guy in the last. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, cheating. Um, like someone who's like a follower, so like that like doesn't know who they are and kind of just goes with the wind. Um, I want someone who knows who they are and is not afraid to stand up for themselves and me. Um, and someone who can't protect at all. I need someone who's going to hold us down. Hold but us down. Is the biggest. When I hear a woman like her keep saying that, Red flag, man. Steer clear. She just said the word protect at least four times. Just <laughs> let me know her mouth. All right. Yeah. What a good minister. With no man by your side because your damn mouth is what it is. It's a snake pit. Mm -hmm. I'm, get, I'm getting snake pit mouth, Mr. Walker. Yes, indeed. She keeps saying protect. And then she actually said she want a man that will cut somebody out about her. That ain't what the heck should no man be cussing nobody out. I don't listen. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. But yeah, ain't no cussing somebody out about your girl. That's feminine in itself. She never got to that. And that's a whole nother. That's a long conversation. But yeah, she out of bounds. One. Say it again. I said cheating is my biggest one. Okay. Little double I. He said he 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 paid for me to ask to say this comment. And I want I want you to respond because maybe you can have a good response. Um, little double eye said she's looking for a payout. <laughs> um, I'm not. I have my master's degree, so I make really good money. Hello, um, men are supposed to provide. Hello. So if that's something that I can have, I would love it. But like I said, I will always have my own job and pay my own bills. So it's not really a payout, but thank here's you what, and, and I'm, we're going to have this and we'll move on, but what they're going to say, what the cousins were going to say in the comment site, in the comment section or people watching, you said men are supposed to provide. And I think a lot of women, you know, we agree to that, but they're going to say, you didn't require that from your ex-husband and your children's dad. So now you want a man to take care of <laughs> somebody else's kids. And that wasn't the requirement from you. Um, I mean, that's why he's an ex, so, oh, no. <laughs> and I was young, so, yeah. um, and honestly, like, while we're just, if we're not married, if we're married, I expect you to treat my kids like your own kids. If we're dating, I don't expect you to take care of my kids. Okay, girl, you know you hot tonight. They got questions for you. So, oh. Chance the Chief, Chance the Chief said, Kendra, it never fails. Women will give the worst man their best and then expect the best man to accept her at her worst. No man, regardless of salary, should take bad deals like this. So you probably are broke. That's why you're saying that, baby. Um, I never said my husband was a bad guy. He's a great father. He just not my person. So mm -hmm. if you had the money, men wants to provide. Yeah. So if you don't want to provide, that's you. Mm -hmm. You're not my man. So yeah. 
Period. Keep pushing. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> All right. We here now. Yeah. We here now. <laughs> I got beans and bologna. It's all making sense. This is some of the strongest sign language I've ever seen in my life. This woman just said, men, it ain't the fact that y'all don't want to be stepfathers. Y'all too damn broke. Yeah. Boom, y'all too broke. Y'all too broke to be stepdaddies. It's all making sense. Y'all be up here. I ain't take care of nobody else's kids because you too broke, ninja. Broke and weak. And we know because Queen said so. I love it. She said, I didn't say my 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 husband ex husband was a bad guy. I just said he was broke, dusty, you know, no good. But I wouldn't say he, he's a good father. He was just broke, dusty, and broken dusty. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he was so, yeah, when these men sitting up here talking about oh, she got two, three kids. That's because y'all too broke. It's it's fine. It's fine. That that guy, listen, <laughs> that guy asks a question. Why do you expect the next guy to provide more when getting less? And there is no answer for that. There isn't. So the best thing they could do is sign language. Your mama black, you're broke. Next person probably got a little weenie. The next person gonna be playing for the rainbow team. Y'all know how this go. Good job. Yeah, this is wild. Shout out to Y Skinner Man Cave. Come through the five bucks. Appreciate you. Since her friend talking her into divorce, <laughs> talked her into divorcing her husband, and her friend helped her pay the bills. Listen, her friend back here ad living talking about duh. Yeah, she gonna say, why you got two kids? She gonna say, because I was young. Her friend said, duh. Because she was young. Hence, the gynocratic echo chamber circle jerks. She can't say nothing wrong. Yeah, they're just sitting at the table. Execute order 66. <laughs> oh. Shout out to Q2. What it do? Appreciate you, brother. He said, shout out to the squeegee kid. Umar, I had to pull over. <laughs> I'll be the best Umar you can be. <laughs> shout out to Who's the Massa. Come through like you do. Appreciate you, brother. Says what she said made no sense whatsoever. In her in her mind, though. Yeah. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. Look mm. at her. <laughs> Let's keep going. I, one thing I will say: I love a person that can stand by their shit. Whether we think, whether we think it's ridiculous or not, one thing I have to respect is you're willing to stand by it. So you can't do nothing but respect that. Let's see if there's a man out there that wants to, you know, join life with you. Let's keep going. Should he look a certain way? I mean, just not ugly, like don't have missing teeth and don't just, you know, like be put together, hygiene. Um, I don't have a certain type. It's really how you treat me and how you are as a person. Um, but let's not, you know. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I got a lot of questions, but we're going to keep going. I'll oh. just screenshot them now. <laughs> so the guy make a certain amount of money? Um, I don't really care how much he makes. I don't like, oh, you need to make two hundred thousand dollars a year i really don't care about that um as long as you can provide for yourself and hopefully me that's really all that <laughs> matters if you yeah but yeah no i don't have like a okay here yeah. we go we got justin anthony he sent money to ask you this question um, <laughs> justin anthony said what would you give a new husband that you didn't give to your ex hmm, that's a good question um, I think that I would give more patience, more communication of just saying how I feel about certain things. I think I kept a lot of things in and kind of built more resentment. That's um, not a good thing. And so I think I would have just more open communication and more patience. And only thing she could give a man is a damn headache. And that's she said, "What can you give this man that you you coming in with two kids and you a headache?" A headache. She said it. That's what she said. I'm gonna give him a headache. She said, I didn't I, I didn't complain and vent enough to my last man. The next man gonna get all of this trauma. That's what she just said. She said, Yeah, I'm gonna be that the patience was a cat. Yeah, we just gonna disregard that altogether. She said, I'm gonna talk more, I'm gonna open up more. 
I'm going I'm going to air my grievances to this ninja. He going to get what the last one didn't get. Yeah, a headache. Yeah, right. Some yeah. used cat, you know, a pre-made family, all that. Oh. Covered in tattoos again. Yeah, them tattoos are so trashy. I want to see her stand up. These are some of the trashiest. Like, she giving. They just, they just everywhere. Yeah, it's just like, trashy. It's just, they just. It's like jailhouse tattoo party tattoos. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is like graffiti. Like, y'all do this to yourselves. It's like if you buy a brand new damn Rolls Royce, you pull up in front of your house and you let your dogs go inside and start taking crap on the seats. You spray paint in the windows. As soon as you bought off the showroom floor, this is what y'all do to it. Unacceptable. <laughs> oh. Understanding where people at, are at in life. And okay. Just, yeah. Um, all right. Um, okay, HV Pookie. HV Pookie said, what are you bringing to my life to justify me taking care of you and two kids that aren't mine? Why would you get a master's and not use it? I am using it, baby. So let's uh, start there. Wow. Um, my goal is to have my own practice. So I will be someone's boss. Hello. So let's start there. <laughs> and what I bring to the table, um, the way I love is really incredible. I bring support. I will make you feel like you can conquer the whole universe. Um, my genuine spirit, my energy. Um, I love on people I love hard. And so, and I do bring money if needed. So let's not... <laughs> mistake that <laughs> so yeah i think that my energy and my spirit speaks a lot and so i just yeah okay lord of leon now he said twenty dollars to say this child it's not really it's a question these are these are questions he said okay. hello mrs kendra you look great tonight not a broke guy here if a man is supposed to provide what are women supposed to do so you said a man is supposed to provide he wants to know what are, what are women supposed to do in your mindset in return? Okay. I think women are supposed to be helpers. They're supposed to be the support system to hold you up. The world tears you down. And so women are supposed to be that, yeah, where you can come home and be your and be your peace and take care of the house, take care of the, you know, like cook and um, things like that, like more domestic. Um, but the, I think the biggest thing is just supportive and being someone's peace. I'm glad you said that. It is literally impossible. It's impossible for this man to come home with you and two damn crumb snatchers that ain't his and there ever be peace. It's impossible. Nothing else to say. Impossible. Talk about peace. Impossible. Absolutely. Imp I'm trying. I'm sitting here trying to think how could there be peace in that situation. Like, cause the days of old are gone where, where single mothers were actually widowed and a new man came into their life and they looked that man in his face with the kids in tow and said, y'all two children, this y'all daddy now. Y'all would do whatever he say. He run this house. Those days are gone. Now, Bo Christian, like, Ninja, you gonna fix your own plate? My kids eat before you? And when my son say, get off the Xbox, you get off. <laughs> no peace. So... Here we go, man. Um, shout out to who's the master says what she said made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Appreciate you, Damon. Says her plan is to assault her way to a provider man. Yes, it is. <laughs> She's gonna do it too. <laughs> shout out to Frederick Howard. Appreciate you. Says this one is looking for Sammy. Sausage head. Who the heck is sent me sausage head? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Divine Photos. Says this is a tyranny special. Tyranny would be proud. All oh, tyranny would be most proud of this one. <laughs> Shout out to the squeegee kid, the goat. Says, okay. <laughs> LL Cool Wig, as Ebony K said, stop cap. Stop cap. <laughs> Listen. And I see my guy uh MJ here. Get money. Get that money. Gotta get that money. Oh, money. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and it won't stop and it don't stop and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about?
Big shout out to MJ. Come through with the 50 ball. Big energy per usual. Says, say goodbye to Erica B and Rhett Kim. Finally caught up after watching on uh uh what a two two speed, two speed. Okay, Whatever. fast so you, forward. So fast so forward. We <laughs> caught up to the stream, and I see y'all in the chat talking about um it is the one where I think EJ Uno had left a question. So we'll play it, see if we can catch it. We'll catch the Kendra Cam man. It's over for this sister. Shout out to the brother Tony Bones. Come through. Says book smarts, but no common sense. Not an ounce. <laughs> Shout out to the pleasant L. Paulino. Appreciate your sister. Says you got a master's, but you plan on stop using it as soon as a sucker or simp comes to save you and your kids. So stop laughing. There you go. Appreciate you, L. Paulino. Put away the razor blades and lemon juice, sister. <laughs> Shout out to Pharaoh's Kingdom. Says, hit her with the Bernie Mac quote. She deserve it. Yeah. You ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. Shout out to Tracy Ann. Appreciate your sister. She says, all I'm hearing is blah, blah, blah. So why her ex-husband didn't conquer the universe since she is so great? This big dummy. Damn, I appreciate y'all sisters coming through with this. You right. A lot of questions. And we got a cash out from the mass man. He says, hit the like button. Please support the channel, folks. Shout out to the mass man. And also shout out to Tracy. All right. Tracy come through with the $5. She says, this is a catch and release. Ha! Stop the cap. <laughs> yeah. Catch <Catching> up. <laughs> a bull jive. Good one, yeah. Tracy. Yeah, she 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 liked the deep deep waters of the Atlantic Ocean. That's what I think. <laughs> Shout out to Diamond's hands and Diamond hands and rocket ships. <laughs> what? Appreciate you. Says if she bought all these qualities, then she should have uplifted her ex. No, he was awesome, but he was dusty and broke. Couldn't do it. Well, there you go. Shout out to Tracy in the chat. You got a kick out of that, huh? Yeah, catch it, release. Appreciate the super chat, sister, or the cash app. Um, there you go. Is that you, Trace? Are you queen? <laughs> Shout out to Frederick Howard. Come through. Says, that's Slummy Dummy, son. Who the heck is Slummy Dummy? <laughs> what? I don't know these people. Slummy Dummy and Sausage Head Mac. I don't know these folks. <laughs> so here we go. Um, we'll let this go. Kendra can see if we can catch EJ Uno here. I think it's coming. Okay, let's do the Kendra Cam. Kendra Cam. Ah, let's share some <laughs> Period. Okay. It ain't given. Period. What? I don't understand. They like, just they are grandizing these, each other. I mean, you single know, women man. keep women single. Huh. Period. Y'all see it. Ain't nothing better. Like a hype man. Her friend over there like Flavor Flav. And I, and that's dope. I could dig it. What else is she supposed to be doing? But she need to be getting the desired results. And she ain't. She, yeah, she, this sister up here thinks she bratty. She got kids. That's the thing. She up here moving, act like she's something bratty. You know, young thing. Just got out of college. Maybe still in college. And no, you was married. To a dusty ninja, your words. And you, with two kids up here talking about acting like you some bratty, uh, childless tender thing, and you ain't. So I'm going to see if I can catch this real quick. I'm not sure of the time of it. <laughs> All right. Girl, you must be, you, you're striking a lot of emotions. You look good. You're striking Thank a you. lot of emotions with people tonight because <laughs> they all uh -huh. want something. Um, to say to you, EJ Uno said, what does your tattoo say? <laughs> um, there's a lot of them, so yeah, there's, I have a lot of tattoos. Like this one probably right here, it says God is within her. She shall not fail. Okay. And that's a lie. So go and get that up off you. So that's what I'm saying. Y'all got lies on your body. Yeah. Boom, you got lies on your damn body permanently. Make it make sense. That's that was always one of my pet peeves when it comes to body ink. Like it ain't no joke. 
Yeah, I got tattoos from high school that they still make sense because I don't, don't play. It's very serious to me, you know. But yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good, good luck. These is handsome boys, man. You cannot move like this as a woman and not become a handsome boy. You can't cover yourself in painful tattoos and and not develop mannish ways. It's a mannish thing. Y'all ain't no in the no indigenous tribes in Africa or somewhere. So don't even say that. Y'all ain't. Y'all here on American soil. Living, living the life, the first world life that men have provided for y'all. Ain't no need to be covered in what what appears to be prison tattoos. <laughs> so here we go. Over the hills, folks. We're gonna keep it moving. We make an example out of her for sure. And yes, she needed. She thinks she fine. That's why you ain't. You get the band. <laughs> now, was she was she two kids with one guy, or was she two for two? Two for one. Two. Allegedly, her ex husband. Allegedly. Yeah. Okay, it don't really change it, you know what I'm saying? It don't make it no better, but if she was two for two, it would have would have made it worse, you know. But, there you go. Yeah. So but yeah, she was there was no humility, there was no she wanted to want the humble bone in her body. You hear me? You need to humble your goddamn self. Where you at Don? You hear me? You need to humble your goddamn self. There you go. <laughs> More women need to practice that. Y'all need to practice humbling yourself, some humility. Um, yeah. Actually, take a look in the mirror. Mm. Uh, get away from your single friends that are just lying to you. Just, I mean, they're lying to your face. So, mm. Mm. yeah, there's. I I asked a question early, uh, last year. Does does any degree of ego serve a woman? And the better question is, does any degree of ego serve a wife? Does it? What the heck you about pulling the screen, Mr. X? <laughs> I don't think that an ego serves a woman in the least bit. I think it's destructive. And these sisters like that last one, they got ego. And it, it don't do nothing to it, don't do nothing for you. It turns real men away. Hey, however, it is attractive to your beta male set, uh, variety. So maybe I'm off base. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy Ann. Oh, oh. Shout out to Tracy Ann. Says two kids later, here I am, sucker. Yeah, <laughs> provider sucker. <laughs> Shout out to Goddess Bella. Appreciate your sister. Says empty ass stud apartment. <laughs> Remove that Goddess ink. Yeah, there you go, Goddess Bella. Tell her you ain't no Goddess. <laughs> Take it. So here we go, folks. Hit the like button if you have not yet. Um, there's still some people who haven't hit the like button. We're gonna keep the show moving. We got a couple more. We're in overdrive tonight, so here we go. Woo. You just made the age cut 21. Well, do you mama, work, Carmen? Um, huh? Right now, I'm currently working at a TikTok shop. A TikTok shop, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. do you have any kids? No, I do not. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. My birthday is March 10th. Okay. okay. So we got Carmen, Texas. Tick, she works at a TikTok shop. Um, 21 Pisces, no kids. Yeah. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Do I have your cat cut off? So you got to back up a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. Um, really just someone that can be honest. Uh, People uh, aren't really honest these days. Somebody that can you know, provide and just be true to themselves. What does provide mean for you? That means be able to handle their business because I can't handle my own. But if I did need some assistance, you know, be able to help out when needed. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, a man that has a, a lot of children, a cheater, and a lot of children, I would say at least four to five kids. We can have three kids. Oh, no. no probably probably not three. Two two kids is good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so two kids is your max. Do you want children yourself? Um, probably in the future, yeah. 
Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I don't really prefer to date outside of my race. So black men only? Yes. Black men only, okay. Now, is there a money requirement? I know you said provider take care of his own self. Is there a dollar amount? Um, no, not preferably. Okay, 21 and older is the rule. Some people are telling me that you're 20. Um, I just moved to Texas, so I don't know why anybody would say that. I don't know anybody out here. Well, this is a worldwide show, not just people from Texas are, are tuning in. Um, no, I don't know why somebody would say that. But you are 21. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Um, does a guy have to make a dollar amount? Um, no. I don't know. He doesn't know. Okay. Let's do the kids or cam. Okay. I can't hear you. Sorry. Say again? Could you repeat that my brother was talking to oh. The kids or cam is when you stand up and we see your full body. Oh, okay. I, I love you. you. Shut up. Ah, I love you back, <laughs> <Mira>. <laughs> <laughs> he is so funny. He said, I love you. Can you? Okay, do I need to back all the way? We just got to see your legs. Can y'all see your legs? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. See that good. This got to be one of Mucho's kids, y'all. We ain't going to let this one slide. From, from right here, I look like sexy wig. Ski! I look just like sexy red grandmother. We look like twins. Can't nobody say shit about me. I just took my glasses off. I know I look like her. I know I look like sexy red. She wish. She wish you can be me every time of her life because I'm looking good. Uh, hey, huh? Are we off base? <laughs> This this post this post child this post sister, young sister young sister twenty one. And she up here blowed out like this. Here's my thing, and I say it: if this sister is fit, and raised up right, and everything, here's your goddess. But no, I told Crystal our melanated sisters have fallen far from grace. Look at this. This ain't supposed to be this. Red bonnet, purple hair, zesty brother. It's over. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's over. Real it's just... talk, like her head looked like a looked like a unicorn came by and dropped the squat. Like she, like a whole unicorn took a crap on top of her head, and that's what it was. Uh, Look at that. That's straight clown work. If this is to appear fit and feminine with a big old afro, ain't much better. But no, we get this. So here we go. We're gonna let her go for another minute, man. Over 21, no kids. Blow it so. out. So Carmen, um, do you want the guy to be in Texas? Uh yes. Okay. When was your last relationship? Don't cut your head off, Carmen. Can you see yourself? Don't cut your head off. <laughs> These comments going crazy. Um Carmen, you can't cut your head off, baby girl. Oh, I'm I gotta be able to see your full head. Okay. Um, okay. When was your last relationship? Um, like three, four months ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About three, four months ago. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. You said what now? Three things you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. Um, I say I'm pretty solid right now. I don't think I need anything to work on at the moment. Listen, you got that, that, that hair. She got on a bonnet on top of a wig, on top of her real hair, on top of her scalp. I want to say it's hot up under there. Like she could start smoking uh food. Uh 
Shout out to my guy, uh, Les Barbecue. Be down there smoking them uh, oxtails. She can like smoke oxtails up inside that damn bonnet. Like you take about a half a dozen oxtails and shove them in there. Come back about three hours. They'll be smoking them uh, <laughs> them oxtails in that big old grill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, this is this is un this is unacceptable. That's my new word. So we got unfortunate and unacceptable. She's twenty one. Absolutely unacceptable. Purple hair. She got purple baby hairs up under. Y'all see them peeking from up under that red bonnet. Whoever making and selling these bonnets and these hairs to these women, y'all got blood on y'all hands. Um, I swear for Lord, because there ain't nothing good about this. Nothing. You see what I'm... This hair disqualifies y'all from good men. I'm done with it. Hey, shout out to Frederick Howard. Texas in every way. Yeah. Boom, shout out to my yeah. guy, Rolling Smoke. Man, you could. I'm trying to tell you, it's hot up under that damn bonnet, man. <laughs> uh, this is y'all see the environment purple hair, zesty relatives. These sisters don't stand a chance. <laughs> and then we go shout out to the incredible one. He says, I bought some of that less, it was fire. He's supposed to be coming to Pittsburgh. I go to Texas. Listen, I told my wife that I said, We're going to see my guy less. I'm gonna go bust down on something. Oh yeah, I don't eat I don't eat red meat at all. But I bust down on some of them uh, candy apple red uh, neck bones and oxtails. She, I didn't see that. I didn't see this work. I, I, I been in my diet what, and get some that. I say we got a whole woman on screen. We sitting here talking about oxtails and this is pathetic. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Man, you're playing. Oh, what happened? Dude. You don't have three flaws? I mean, I have three personal flaws, but you said when it comes to a relationship, like my loyalty when it comes to somebody else, I don't think I would question that. I mean, so you think in a relationship you're perfect? No. no okay, problem. so this is the moment you can say the three things you have to approve on. Okay, I'll say I, I can improve on... Hold on, why is why is Anasia's friends on here trying to show out? Like they're doing too they don't even know who's me. Anasia, who's Anasia? Girl that used to try to bully me in Let me school. See, and they like, saying she's what? really trying to do too much. She doesn't she even know me. Like all her friends is on here trying to do too much. They don't, I don't know see me them. from a can of paint. Don't know my age. They said your brother's gay, all this other stuff. Like they're really showing out and oh, no, here? that's not cool. Yes. Oh girl, baby, I ain't they're, worried. They're really showing I'm out. Bad. I'm sorry. That just irritated me because people is haters for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. All right. I don't I don't know who Anasia is. I'm Does sorry. she follow you on Instagram? Well, her people is on here trying to go. Trying How do you know they're her friends? Because when they said, Charles, your lunch is ready, that was something I said to her when she was coming at me. So I knew that that, that you know, put uh, two together. Hold on, let me go get cute, because the bitch said, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, what your brother said, he about to shut it down. Um, okay, well, listen, we, let's, we, we really don't condone bullying. So, Anasia, get your friends. Let's, let's, but let's continue. We're almost done. Listen. If that's her biological brother and they share the same parents, is it safe? Is let's say we judge over here in case y'all didn't know. Yes, we is do. it safe to say that their parents are failures? If this is your daughter and your son, or does this or or are we off base? And just because she got on the purple bonnet, red we all and he zesty with the bonnet, and they, he acted wild. Does that have nothing to do with their character and who they are? I don't know. It's two things. Yes. Is, that, is it two different things? Can you not judge a book by its cover, if you will? <laughs> Girl, you love opening up this messed up door, man. Listen, that's something we got to consider going into 2024. A reality I had to come with, come, come to. See, I can speak for me and Gavin. We come from a very brutish background. So that's why you get what you get on camera. We are mannish men. All right. We were raised around gangsters and thugs that are like y'all know stores. So this is what you get. But 
So when we see brothers like that talking about, you know, I'm this, I am that, let me get cute. I can't identify that as masculinity at all. Actually, no, pause. That ain't masculinity. That DSN, you're going to go get cute and, and, and talking very feminine. Yeah, it's just boochy, boochy cat work. So, but can we say that he is, in fact, zesty? Because that means that he does, you know, enjoy the company of the same sex. Don't Can we really say, <laughs> can we really say, I know what the chat goes, they're going to say, hell yeah, we can say that. But just something to think about. <laughs> but yeah. as far as failures, yes, her parents are failures. It don't matter. This is this my look at it, on it. It don't matter if your kids rebel, whatever. As a parent, no matter what. You gotta take some degree of responsibility. You can't just say, uh, no, it's it's healthy to you. I'm a failure, a little bit of failure. All right. So yeah, that that was my take on it all. You know, just watching her and her brother, it's a lot. Shout out to Ray come through. What you got? It says Janae got a kid with Omarion. Full RMB 2K little bro. Okay. Okay, I didn't know with Omarion. All right. Or his little with his brother or him? Oh, either way. Nevertheless, <laughs> shout out to Squeegee Kid. He says she wants a man so she can live her fantasy life of bonnet and clad. <laughs> Winter is bonnets. <laughs> mm. <laughs> shout out to Miss DC4L. Come through with the $3 super sticker. Appreciate your sister. Appreciate your Stevie D. Come through. Says, so this costume is worn to attract the guys? Oh. No, it's not. No, see, Stevie D, you wrong. Stop thinking about this all about men. They do this for themselves. And they or, or two things is true. We can be off base. This girl's 21 years old. And either, because I feel sorry for the younger guys coming up dating. These, You know, anybody under the age of 30, especially younger guys who's still in school age, you know, they're going to have it the most Cause these women are going to be fully liberated by the end. And they, this is going to be commonplace for them to do whatever the hell they want. And it's just bad, but we'll say this. You got these guys walking around with these poo shiesty mask on and they hair all wild. That's her husband. They all wild, you know? So poo shiesty mask. This what's I going to say? Uh, oh yeah. They, they said they roasted her in the chat. They said, Charles, your lunch is ready. If y'all don't know what that's a reference to, y'all seen what's her name? Aunt Nettie, Aunt Netta, wicked work. Yeah, somebody please send that to Gav. Whoever. <laughs> Charles, your lunch is ready. <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. Says she looked like Viscera, the wrestler from WWF and WWE. That person name was Viscera? That's sick. Appreciate you, Frederick Howard. Said Nakisha Tron in the background. Hey, Kendra, yeah, that, all that. Mm. Shout out to Mr. Mister. Says she don't even look good from far. She just looked far from good. <laughs> Classic. Appreciate you, Nisi G. Been a member for six months. Appreciate your sister. She says, why does she have that stank face? Because she getting roasted by her uh, high school bullies. <laughs> Old trauma, baby. <laughs> Appreciate you, Nisi G. Come back through and get that one single by choices membership. Appreciate you. Here we go. I'm Larry Landis playing once and for all. Um, but the three flaws. Do you have three flaws, honey? Um, my three flaws would be I don't know why people are trying to say I'm not 21. I live all the way in Texas. No, I, I I know how old I am. I don't got no family out here, but my brother. We doing our own thing. So for whoever's in these comments trying to tell me how old I am, what I do, y'all don't know me from a can of paint. I don't know none of you at all. Anyways, my three flaws would be, um, I'd say I probably could be more consistent, uh, probably more communicative, and uh, um, I'd say... Hmm, no, girl, I'm upset. These pickle head built ass bitches. Not the oh. pickle head. What, what you <laughs> um, but your brother got a bonnet on too. Yeah, we both bonnet 
sit in right now. We were we in the house, you know. We in the, we just we was chilling. I didn't think he was gonna accept me honestly, cause I done been on here a few times and you know I didn't I really wasn't expecting to be accepted honestly. Tell her to add me, cause I'm gonna be that here in ten minutes. <laughs> well, okay, let's talk. We're almost at the end, Carmen. Why would it gotta okay. be lucky to be with you? Um, um, I say because I do have respect. Um. For other people, I'm not really a judgmental person. Um, I carry myself very well when I when I go out in public. Like I said, I'm a respectful person. Um, now I will tell you this: they are definitely gonna talk about you having on a bonnet. Oh, uh, they're gonna have to talk about this bonnet because this face, I, this face gives to me. So if, if they if they have a problem with the bonnet. You want me to take the bonnet off, Miss Kendra? Well, I'm just gonna tell you what the what the perception is gonna be. And oh, whenever well, somebody okay. comes on with a bonnet, and the only reason I brought it up because you said you present well, people will definitely talk about you coming on with a bonnet. So, I mean, listen, I always tell y'all in the beginning, whatever makes you most comfortable. But I will tell you mm -hmm. that will be a conversation. Oh uh, uh, well, that that I meant when I go in public. I'm in home. I'm at, I'm at home right now. So well, I'm you not. really you're in home, but you're worldwide. This That's is actually true. more people probably would see you here than if you went out. This is hundreds of thousands of people. That's true. That That's true. Okay. Okay. What was the age range you want to date, sweetheart? You're 21. Um, I say no older than like 28. 28. Okay. And okay. And I'll just give you this own personal advice on your on your journey of womanhood. Ignore the haters. I know it sounds I'm not even the best at it at times. Sometimes I do got to check a person. But a lot of times I ignore stuff. And that girl you were talking about, we wouldn't even know she existed. And we got to stop. We're going to stop for one minute because that I just disagree with that whole little sentiment. Do we got to ignore the haters? Yeah, when they are truly haters. Mm -hmm. In her case, it's not hate. People telling you the damn truth. You got on a red bonnet and a purple wig. Talking about people hating on you. That's what's wrong with you ninjas. Can't nobody tell y'all the truth and try to help y'all because they hating. There you go. And yeah, she's like, oh, I'm not a judgy person. I don't judge. And that is one of y'all biggest problems. Y'all y'all out here misreading the King James pamphlet. I don't know what y'all be reading, but it don't simply say don't judge. That's why y'all say y'all don't judge because y'all claim that the a pamphlet say don't judge. No. It says judge not or be judged first. That's why I don't mind being judgy myself personally, because I've judged myself first before I came up here on Beyonce's internet handing out these lashings. Yes. And they're not even it calling a, it, it judging. They're calling it straight up hate. They're calling it straight up hate. They're not even, they pass judgment. You just hate. They ain't, see, they ain't hate. They ain't hate. They ain't no hate. You know who would be hate? Compared to telling that you're beautiful and you're gorgeous and that you got it all together, you fine, you you perfect the way you are, do you, boo? That would be hate because it ain't going to get you your desired outcome. It's destructive. Y'all don't get it. Y'all not used to tough love. But y'all, I ain't going to start. <laughs> Shout out to Goddess Bella. Appreciate you, sister. She says, let me get cute. Watch them come back without a bonnet. Yeah, cute. I ain't got no time to play. I'm just going to make that goddamn money and keep it moving. You hear me? Just stack, just stack, just stack, just stack, and stack, and stack. You hear me? Watch your mouth. Big Theo Coop is in the house. How you doing, brother? Shout out to Theo Coop over at The Do Better Podcast. Came through with the 50 ball like he do. Mr. Good Bread says, damn, walked in on purple wig, red bonnet combo. <laughs> Support my interest, people. Check me out in the AM, folks. We cooking. Salute to the chat. Salute to you, good brother. Yeah. This has got to be a first. Purple wig, red hair. Yeah. She creative. Mm. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Shout out to the big dog Theo Coop people. <laughs> count it, count it, count it, count it, count it, <laughs> count it. Do what? Count it. What are you doing? Count it. Feeling money. Count it. Count it. <laughs> Shout out to my guy. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the Do Better podcast. Check Theo out in the AM. 
Like you said, you know he gonna be cooking. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! For sure, my man reaching, scratching, stretching towards 100K on the way. Go ahead and support Beautiful Black Media over at the Do Better Podcast tomorrow morning. Was it around 8 a.m.? There we go. So here we go. Theo, you are one of the show sponsors now, brother. Shout out to Who's the Master? Come through. Says the future of black community is depressing. It's going to get worse before it gets better. So here we go. This is the here. I think that was it. We about to get to the feature. This ain't even the feature, unfortunately. That's crazy. So, I think she was done. If you didn't bring it to light, right? Like, this is your moment. Let it be your moment. They let let them talk. Whatever they're gonna say, right. don't let it get under your skin. It only becomes, it only becomes big if you acknowledge it. If you would have never said it, I would have never knew her name. Would have never knew the followers. So as you move forward in life, you know, get used to people not always liking you. And the best thing you could do is just go off and become amazing, an amazing woman, and ignoring them on the path. And that's why I love her. <laughs> Just ignoring them on the path. Like, don't don't give them no light. You the one on the show. Yeah. You the one with the moment. Don't let them share their moment that's with you. True, but that's why I'm not gonna let no bonnet stop me from, you know, from doing what I got to do. I'm I know I was looking a little rough, so I just tried to, you know, it was quick. You answered real quick, but it's okay. Next time I may when when something like this happened, I know to prepare myself before I hit join. But <laughs> But yeah, okay. Well, let's do it. We got Carmen, Texas, twenty-one Pisces. I'm over. Let's play devil's advocate, Carmen. Are you saying that minus the red bonnet, with only the damn, I don't know what color purple that is, <laughs> only with that purple hair, you look great with the purple hair. It's the bonnet throwing this off. Are we? Is that what she's saying? That the purple hair she will be will be slamming right now, but it's the bonnet. Oh boy, <laughs> I tell you what, I know exactly what color that is. I got T Mobile. <laughs> so there you go. And then she gonna say she got a pretty face. She said, I got a cute face, so don't worry about the bonnet. This face let's, is let's touch on that. For one, her hair is magenta. <laughs> All right, got that magenta hair, red bonnet to the face. Yeah, see. Some things we aren't allowed to say. We're not. So anytime, and y'all have noticed it, anytime a woman has come up here and they self-proclaim that they are gorgeous, beautiful, it's that's an ugly thing. Don't do that. Let 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 the pe people tell you that you look good. You self-grandizing yourself is a turnoff to any any person. No need to do it. Stop that. Overcompensating, take the dang on bonnet off, and you ain't got to do all this, <laughs> man. So, at this point, you and your brother and y'all damn bonnets to the sub. Yes, hmm. the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah. Are you big? So. Yeah. Oh man. That magenta hair. Magenta. Yes. She said I was looking a little rough. So it and her hair ain't done up under there. It's untamed. Her lace front uh is coming unattached, need reactivated. That's nasty work. See what I'm saying? She's 21 blowed out. She she is trending towards traction alopecia. Make no so here sense, we go. Folks. We go move on to the feature. We got a classic um coming in. It's a classic green car base situation. A green bull do whatever his highness desires. She's your queen to be. <laughs> here we 
go. Um, I catch this time stamp. We're gonna go back to match play. It's gonna be a hundred dollar match play because we about to cook. This is a classic. Hit the like button if you're just coming in, folks. We in Milwaukee? Uh, this Milwaukee? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy Ann, supporting her interest all day. Appreciate your sister. Says, don't let the bonnet stop you. What about the sub? <laughs> she the sub. Mm-hmm. You go. Appreciate your El Paulino. Says, Fred, Fred rerun. Barry look alike to me. Fred rerun. Ba- oh, check the target box. So here we go. Appreciate it, El Paulino. Hit the like button, folks. Um, I think with Zach. I know it was with you, actually. And when was it? Like two years ago. Oh, that's why I don't remember. <laughs> so two years ago. So what's your update, Destiny? Um, so there was a guy. He came in my DM, and he came from overseas. Now he lied and said he was in New York City, um, and he catfished me. Um, how did he catfish me? He made me come all the way to New York City. And I was meeting up with him, and it was his cousin. Okay, that's already catfish. Um, so then eventually he told me, oh, no, like, I'm in Pakistan, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, so now what do you want me to do? So he wanted me to bring him here. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why would I bring you here? I don't even have that much money to bring you the fuck here. So I'm like, what the fuck? You're just running on all types of crazy people. (laughs) After that, I was just scared. I was like, oh, hell no. Yeah, so he definitely did a catfish. So, okay, okay, I got a couple questions. So you, he DM'd you? Yeah, he DM'd me. Did you guys FaceTime before you went to New York? Um, so we did, and I did not catch on that he was over there. Like he was- Oh, okay. So you never saw his face? Okay, so he said he lived in New York? Yeah. So why didn't you at least like do a FaceTime with him before you went to New York? So no, so we did FaceTime and we did it through his email. So I didn't think nothing. I didn't think like he's not here. You know what I mean? Why would he not be here? Like you're FaceTiming me. You're not calling me through WhatsApp, you know? Okay. And when I got to New York City, it's like not, it's not him. It's not the person. (laughs) He got to New York City. What does his cousin say to you? So his his cousin said he was him. I'm like, you're not the fuck him. Like, so I'm like, I'm like, okay, so this is you. So like, I'm like, FaceTime, FaceTime. And he answered the phone. I'm like, oh, so this, this is you. Like, wait, so yeah. you're in front of his cousin and then you yeah. FaceTimed him while you're yeah. with his cousin. Yeah. So his cousin was trying to convince you that he was the actual yeah. guy. Yeah, they just want a paperwork as like at the end of it, like they just want a paperwork. So it was, <laughs> when you okay, so when you FaceTimed him, like like they're busted, then what does he say at that moment? Um he's, he's like, Oh no, like I'm coming there, don't worry. And I'm like, What the f- you were already supposed to be here. Yeah. I'm like Did he outright let me ask you this? Did he outright ask you to help him get here? Um, yeah, so after everything was done, I was like, what do you want? Like, seriously, what do you want? And he's like, oh, I just need to be deported from Dubai. And then I'm like, listen, I can't do that. I do not got that fucking much money for it to bring you here. Like, are you dumb? Like, I'm like, what do you think? I'm like rich or something? Like, I work at fucking GoPuff. Like, no, I'm not rich. So I, at first I was like, you know, I could try to help you, like send you money. And then I'm like, Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I sending you money? Send me money. <laughs> so, yeah. This is tragic. Hell. So they tried to finesse her. Nug nug up there like. I guess you wonder where I've been. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> nug nug. That's crazy. Nug nug got her going from state to state. She said she. She is went. It, to, isn't that bad? How could a woman be this desperate? It's your, it blows my mind. They're not desperate. She just exploring her options. She had Bonquishas and Mary Beths of the sort. They ain't desperate. They, this is just part of their options. That's all. Just part of it. Nevertheless, she went to New York from where? I need to know how many Philly. miles. She in Philly, so not far. Okay. Okay. Nevertheless, she get to NYC. It's you, Mo. Cousin. 
Mo on the go. Yeah, we's calling this uh Milwaukee. I think she in Philly. Am I tripping okay. y'all? Did she say Philly or Milwaukee? Nevertheless, oh. she show up. Her the cousin is there, and then you find out that where's Waldo is now, and you said Pakistan, but now you gotta get deported from Dubai. Who are you dealing with? <laughs> Who is this? Is the scammer scammer? This your favorite scammer scammer. <laughs> so here we go. This got so many twists and turns, and it ain't even funny. Like, guys, put y'all seatbelts on. All right, she from Milwaukee. I know I wasn't tripping, so she drove New York from Milwaukee or Philly. She said Philly. There we go. No, I ain't tripping. Who knows? Who knows? Hell, she from Green Greenland. Here we go. <laughs> that damn Nova Scotia. <laughs> well, uh, listen. Well, here's the deal. Um, I hate that you went through that experience. This is why I always try to tell you guys. You know, you got to meet people at your own risk. Unfortunately, I don't know anybody. What I do is I get the platform that allows you to meet people. But these are the reasons why. And I know it could be tough. I know it could be tough. I almost suggest that I don't even know in order to be safe, safe. Like you have to really, really confirm before you fly out to meet someone. Right. <laughs> and um, this is why. Now, shout out to my international viewers. And I know a lot of the international men that live in other countries sometimes feel like I give them a hard time and they don't get fair treatment on this show. But this is the reason why. This is the reason why. And the number one complaint I have from American women is that men in other countries, in particular Nigeria or Ghana, African countries, are trying to bombard them to get them to America. Now, you know, I don't have a way to filter it out. I wish I could. Um, I'm happy nothing dangerous happened to you, girl. And I'm happy you woke up and you decided not to well, help him out. Don't get it wrong. Like I like I like those kind of people. Um, oh, now I like you like I, I, I do um so I like Arabics. You like Arab Arabic Arabics. Oh, so you yeah. want somebody in another um, country? Um, but like someone honest though, you know. Like if you tell me from the beginning, like oh, I can't come to America because I don't got paperwork or I'm working on paperwork, you know? But the Egyptians and everybody here, I kind of mess around with. So that makes any sense. Oh, 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 okay. So, okay. So if he was the Arabic, it wouldn't have been a problem for you? No, it wouldn't have been a problem. And if he was here, like, it's, it wouldn't have been a problem, no. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I'm clear. Do you want a person in USA or you are open to date someone in a well, different country? Well, um, I'm open I'm open to date someone there, but I'm married now to an Egyptian, so. She keep calling these men Egyptians. Is that kind of, the, is she off base? She keeps saying Egyptians and Arabs. They gonna have this woman with a vest strapped to her. All right, she gonna run into some, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> Holy hell. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just listening to her. I don't know what Becky going on by. Yeah, I don't know if those are the appropriate terms, you know. Yeah, Egyptian? I don't I really don't know. I'm a hood ninja at heart. <laughs> don't know. Allah <laughs> Akbar South Bill. Indeed. Yeah, keep playing, Becky. They're gonna like Gav said, you're gonna be up there. I don't know what you get. They said they get some virgins and stuff. I don't know what you're going to get. You get up to the pearly gates. <laughs> uh, you get 40 weenies. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Well, yeah. You're married now? Yeah. <laughs> yes. When did you get married? I just, um, Four years ago. <laughs> so why would no, you? not four years ago. Four months ago. Sorry. Four months ago. He's actually in he's actually in the next room. He's probably like, why is this bitch open in this single life? Okay, was he in America? Um yeah, he was in America. Let me just ask you straight up. Did you marry him for, for him to get his papers? Um, no. I married him for love, but he is getting his papers though. How long did you know him before you married him? Um one month. Yeah. So why but it's, you get it's, married? Okay, let me ask you this. If you married him for love, why did you have to get married after one month of knowing him? Um, so not due to me, but due to him. Um, so you did marry him for him to get his papers? No, no, no. He's good. Well, he's getting his papers now. 
But what but, I'm saying is this. Why have to why would you marry a man that you've only known for one month? I liked him and he told me, you know, I have to be married. Also, he needed paperwork in order to stay for you to continue to like him. That's why you got married after 30 days. So the no. guy that the, the, the No, the, he told the, me like he like he told me like basically like we can't do anything more because of his family so if his family knew that i was just his girlfriend that's not gonna work but honey so 30, I had 30 days i don't think is long enough to bound yourself legally to a person that you barely know you said you know him for uh, one month and then you got married and then now yeah. he's able let me ask you a question if you did not marry him would he have would he be able to stay in this country um yeah so he was actually here when he was 15 he went to school here. Okay, so he didn't need, but you said now he's getting his paperwork. So he he was here on a like a like a school visa to go to school. So with that being said, you can only get like a green card. So he only has a green card and not a citizenship. Here we go. <laughs> These women, twenty twenty four is the year of desperation. Disparity is in the air. Even going back to this woman going viral. Why did I marry my husband? Who did I marry? Now there's all these women coming out. Everybody, like Bonquisha, who did I have a baby with? All these women doing this, doing these series now. Who did I let get me pregnant? Y'all got it. It's going, everybody on TikTok now with the, they planning joking. All right. And I hope we give some context to these sob stories that's, you know, showing up in mass. You know, these these 50 part series and such. Now we get an idea how they start. They start from pure desperation. They know what the deal is. Can you say, why you get married? She said, cause I liked it to him, Kendra. <laughs> Listen, that's one thing I'm coming to terms with, man. Uh, I love you sisters, but y'all really do run y'all logic through y'all emotions. And and that's a real thing that that us real men got to keep in track to help y'all out. You know what I'm saying? That's it's unfortunate. But this sister Becky, our our our, our sister Becky here, she said she liked it to him, and he told her sweet lies, and he had his uh, school green card. You know, so he been here. She trying to justify. It. She's like, no, he been here. He went to school, but he only got his green card, so he could be here. But once we get married, they can stay here. Here's the problem with that. There is a 99.9% .9 chance that once he gets his green card, that their relationship is going to somehow go astray. <laughs> so, yeah, at this point, all I'm sensing... Emotional damage! <laughs> Man. So... Appreciate you. Who's the master? Says the future of the black community is depressing. We got that one, but it's still okay. true. Huh. <laughs> Appreciate oh, you. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I think I think we're here. Did we get? Yeah, this? we're right there. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they wrote to me in the chat about this. Pre shout out to JLB. Says rerun. What's happening? TV show. Come on, guys. That's me. I here's the thing. I never. I never watched that show. It's yeah, about time, probably because at that time, yeah, I was living a wild childhood. Yeah, probably didn't have cable, had roaches and rats. Didn't get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Goddess Bella come through the 20 ball. We assume that's for the hundred dollar pot. She says, please make it stop. So she got the fast forward. I think $20 is in the pot. <laughs> All right. So we going, yeah. Shout out to G Honda. Appreciate you, G Honda, coming through. Says, White Quisha crying grapes. <laughs> I'm a star, ran game, and got the cheeks. You believe white tears matter? Is <laughs> this camera on me? <laughs> Holy hell, G Honda. <laughs> Shout out to Sal Bill. Says, Her top game is crazy. I can tell. I can't stand it. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> Appreciate your divine photos. Sadly, there's more stories of women like this that get scammed, sending money to green car bays that don't that they don't even meet. Desperation is in the air. Yes, it is, brother. Appreciate the squeegee kid. 
He says, wow, just probably done put on some weight. Whew. Hmm. God damn. <laughs> Appreciate you, Project Leroy. It says, OMG, is green car and tax season. Listen, it's ramping up heavy. Hmm. Appreciate you, Paul Taylor, come through. It says, the female Bobby Hill is tripping. Not Bobby Hill, my man Bobby. <laughs> so she about to go in here. I think she's going to bring this guy on camera. Here we go, folks. But now because he's your husband, he get a citizenship. Um, hopefully we've been waiting, but nothing happened yet. I want to meet him. Go get him. Oh, okay, hold on, because he might be undressed. <laughs> Alexa, trouble. turn the light on. Okay. Babe, can you put a shirt on? Can you turn off? Can you put a shirt on? Put a shirt on. Just show you your. Bring me a shirt then. <sighs> Sorry, one second. <laughs> Where? Oh, hurry up, cause she's on a time limit. <laughs> she just wants to. Oh, here, put your shirt on. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God, hurry up. Okay. He was like smoking. <laughs> okay. So this is him. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Peace up. Oh, what's your name? Be Mahmoud. Mood, okay. And this is your wife, yes. right? Yes. Okay. You guys fell in love fast, you told me. Yes, we did. How, how long did you guys know each other before you got before she became your wife? One three. month or two months. It was three months. So <laughs> three you proposed months. pretty no. fast. Yes. yes. Now you're proposing for paperwork? What do you propose for? Huh? Did you propose yeah, did for you <laughs> No, because in my, no, because in my religion we get married Wait, like first know, to have a relationship. Every Holy, we he back. Listen, man. Hell, he back here like yeah, Kendra. My name is Chad. My name is Chad. I I, I love her a long time, Kendra. My I, my name is Chad, Kendra. She Kendra said. Kendra said, "Hey, Chad, did you marry her for papers?" He said, <laughs> and he started rubbing his face. He said. Shit. Said, no, no, no. In, in my country, you see, my father, I must get married before relationship. Even though I'm laying on this bed, <laughs> smoking, smoking hash, playing Grand Theft Auto, in my country, my father said, you know, I, I must get married first. So that it has nothing to do with the paperwork. And you, you, you misunderstand these things. <laughs> All right. Here we go, folks. This is wild. Ooh. Everybody's on here, so just. Okay. Well, I'm not saying anything uh, wrong. Okay. So did you marry her for love or did you marry her for the paperwork to say in America? No, I married her for love. I've so been you... in America. I've been in America already for 10 years. Okay. I'm just curious. Why did you have to get married? You marry her for love. You shut your line, nigga lips up. And you are a ninja. I don't care what you think. I'm not black. Me no black. You is a ninja. You's a ninja. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, use a nug nug. Nug nugs ain't got no race barriers. <laughs> yeah, use nug nug. You laid up. You talking about you can't be in a relationship because because your father and your family, uh, morals and traditions and all that good stuff. But you here shacking up. You definitely clashing them them uh pale cheeks. That's what you is doing. Use a nug nug and you trying to hide it with your accent. I, I ain't nobody buying that. I say I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get into it. Use use a use a nut. I ain't gonna get into it. Be so fast then. So I can have a relationship with her. He's Muslim. Oh <laughs> so in order for you to be with her, according to your religion, you have to get married. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Well please um, how did you guys meet? Destiny, how did you two meet? Facebook dating. <laughs> Facebook dating. Facebook dating. Okay. That's All right, so well. Funny. All right. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Congratulations nice. on your marriage. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Thank well, you so much. Okay. Um. So, so Destiny. Yeah. So you're off the market. You were just calling me to give me an update. Yeah, I or wanted you... to tell you. Um, just that. That's all. <laughs> we can't see your face, honey. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Sorry. I was just telling you just that. Okay. Uh, so when is this paperwork finalized? Um. Well, we want. To like the interview, and she said like we were lying. I guess. Oh, she 
Like, you think y'all lying too? Yeah. She's probably, what, why, why she think y'all was lying? What questions she thought y'all was lying about? So he was married to a black woman before for paperwork. So it kind of like threw everything off. Was he, so, so, but he didn't, he was married for her paperwork, but this time with you was love. Yeah. So this time it's like love. I'm over it. I'm over it. Sing along if you know the ways. Don't trust them new niggas over there. Leaving they nigga essence in the air. Them happy, nappy head niggas with the fingers on the trigger. Don't trust them new niggas over there. I'm not doing this, man. We're trying to end the show. Tonight been wild enough. This stuff is getting too crazy, man. Seriously. Uh, like, listen. Desperation oh. and being weenie drunk is a real thing. There ain't no way this woman is up here talking about he was already married to a bone quisha for paperwork. However, he gonna marry me for love. <laughs> it's love. Bone question, do it feel like love? I'm sorry, wrong, wrong question. I, I bet it do feel like love. Yeah, raw meat love. <laughs> yeah, Akbar up there beating raw up here talking about his, his traditions and his family. And I, if and I see y'all in the chat, if he beating at all, because y'all saying that. I, you know, masculinity is a miss. I understand. But who knows? Who knows? Nevertheless, regardless of all that, City Boys and Green Car Bay is up, my baby. I can't, man. This is City Boy. City Boy. There we go. Land your plane, Bonquisha. Please, please, for the love of God. Uh, do, do I lose my black car because I know who Bobby Hill is and I didn't know who Rerun was? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um, this, this this time is love. Before it was paperwork. So when did he divorce the black woman for paperwork? Um wait, what did he say? When did he get divorced to the other woman? Um this was like maybe like one year. But it's just like when you date these people, all these um Arabic guys, um, it's just a little different because like you gotta like you got to be family oriented and like, I'm not really that. So oh, you're not, you're not a family oriented person. No. Why, why, why not? Why aren't you? Um, I just never grew up with like family. So I'm just not that. So yeah, we're together for the moment and he's going to get paperwork in. Okay. <laughs> so the lady See, says she thinks you're lying. So you got to go back for a second interview. Yeah. Um, um, no, she just made him like write a letter. So, well, Destiny, I want you to call me a year from now and keep me in in, in the loop of how your marriage turns out. Yeah, well, because then I'll come on. Thank you. <laughs> eventually, yes. I'll, eventually, I'll come on your show. Well, you're on my show right now. Well, you have a husband, so you shouldn't be looking for nobody else, right? Um. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Wait, are, are, are you wait? Are you still open to meeting other men? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a lot going on. I'll I'll be on another day. <laughs> I'll be on another day. Let me <laughs> no, yeah, for the moment. I mean, we talked about like um, cause you know, there's a lot of family family things that go on so we're just like okay we're together for the moment and living in the moment day by day because the whole family thing is just cuckoo to me what's some of the so, family things that's cuckoo to uh, you um they don't really know english and i don't know arabic too much so it's a lot of um language barriers um sometimes they talk and i'm like wait are they talking about me you know and I'm like, uh-uh, like, get the fuck out. You know, so it's just, and we all live in one house. Oh, so. you live with the family. So it could be a lot. Um, I mean, like, like I'm going to say, if anybody on here. Hold on. It's gonna be Hold on. 
But on Quisha, blink twice if you if you are not safe. Bon Quisha, blink twice if they got you in the kitchen all day baking pita bread. Let us know. Let us know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, melanated deficient Bon Quisha. Let us know if you didn't had way too much falafel and the ice. <laughs> too much falafel. <laughs> Let us know. Are you are you experiencing uh what's that they like to use a lot? That herb is turning things green. What the heck is it? I forget. Nevertheless, <laughs> are, are you been I'm over this, man. Is she living with the parents? So she living with air, everybody in the same house in, in the United States. Yeah. This is weird. What's going on? Like she she up here talking about they trying to get married, but but who immigration? Green card, the green card authorities said they lying. They have to tell them lies. So they had to come back and regroup and regain plan. And now she live with the whole family and she may be back on the show looking for another dude. Is she running a racket? Is melanated deficient bone quisha up here running a green card racket? Hmm. That might be an industry. Pay. Yeah, I think this here is a, a shout to my guy squeegee kid. This is a clear indicator of a winter storm warning. It's just more evidence to show us how truly bad it is out here for people mating and dating. I think I think it's reaching its apex here soon because it's getting bad. It really is. <laughs> yeah, the snow bunnies then got pulled into this. And oh, Akbar, look, we came up here talking about just just bone questions and nug nugs. But like we say, this ignorance has no race boundaries, no bounds, no limits. Everybody can get this. With an Arabic man, please make sure y'all not all in one house because it's going to drive you to fuck nuts. So, so you yeah. know, listen, you, you know, you know, the family gonna see this video. Uh, oh, they don't know English though, so it don't really. Or unless they're gonna get a translator, like, oh, okay, what's she saying? What's she saying? So. Yeah, <laughs> but right now we're good. You know, we sleep together, we do whatever together. But yeah, okay. it's what it is. It is. It is. And it is. I just seen somebody like, like in, like in the beginning. Let me just say something. You said I'm for the streets. Um, I'm not for the streets, but like, use men are for the streets. So yes, us women, we can be for the streets. So please correct yourself. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. And just for clarity, is this an open relationship? Because you weren't too. Hold on. I didn't. Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. You is for the streets. She belongs to the streets. She gonna say, "Use men. Use men are for the streets." Says this walrus. Again, the gynocratic uh, echo chamber circle jerks create this ish, man. And that's the only way, way this ignorance evolves to this level of delusion. Nobody telling her she's wrong. And I don't know what type of wicked wild game these this family running on her. They talking about they all sleep together. I don't know what's going on. Like Gab said, she need to blink twice. And we'll call ice. We'll sit ice that way, huh? <laughs> Do something. Do something. Hold up a science to say help. <laughs> Here we go, Bonquisha. I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. I'm going to ride to the gate no more. I got the horsey in the back. Na 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 no, he's he's not like I, I like he don't even want me to the world right now like on on the Instagram or nothing. I don't think this is this might be against their 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 religion and their teachings. But I want I, I'm gonna whisper it because I don't want him to hear and I know his family don't understand English. So I'm just it's just me and you talking, me and you. Do you want to meet another man? There you have it. We'll okay, that's it. Bye. That's it. Bye, 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 Destiny. Bye, bye, bye. This is sick work. So that was her. 
That was her. Jesus. Mm. Yo, what was that? They like she said he could hear you say that again. Yeah, hopefully she's safe. <laughs> yeah, this ain't it's all jokes and games till it ain't. Yeah, she up here playing and let him let Akbar think that the jig is up. You know, don't know how he might respond. Yeah, don't let him start getting memories of the old the old homeland. And take y'all back. Anything about enough. It's Paul up here. Why y'all talking? That's my. He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. You can't sleep at night. He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. I got him all the time. <laughs> That's her man. That's her man back there for what it's worth. Mm. Hey. Hey. There you go. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. That's wild work. A, a, a non-melanated woman entering into the Muslim religion. They are tired. They all live in the same house sleeping together. I don't know what this about. They, I tell you really what. Playing this long con. Y'all better watch out for these migrants coming into the country. That's the net net of it. I would say all men and women. The women, while y'all pushing these men away, when they start bringing Maria in, y'all going to be... And then men. Y'all don't want Bonquisha in them? When you see Javier and uh, Manuel and Muhammad in them, it is what it is. There you go. And that's what's going to be those switcheroo. Old feminine and fit and cooperative. Marietta gonna come over getting with the American guys and Bon Quisha gonna like, hold my liquor, hold my Casamigos because little Javier gonna be needing that green card. And here we go. Now Bon Quisha, them gonna get in on the scheme. They're out here selling food stamps. You don't think Bon Quisha, but like, look, we can get some bread and get some weenie, you know, handing out green cards and paperwork. And the, and the schemes and scams shall continue. It's already happening, but it's going to pick up. And I tell you what, Bonquisha, we got a special send out for her because at the end of the day, this appears to be a woman of the caucus race and her ancestors are rolling in her graves. You know, Thomas Jefferson, uh, Benjamin Franklin, you know, all them guys. What's my man that had the wooden teeth? He had the human teeth. Yeah. They was calling them wood, but y'all know yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. George Washington. Yeah, yeah. They call. They taught us in school that it was wooden teeth. They weren't wooden teeth. Then was then was the what? Then was the teeth of our great great greatest grandparents. You heard so, man. So all of them people of hers, they roll in their graves, and this this white sister with these Arabs and Egyptians, and uh, I just got one thing to say, Bonquisha. That country tis a deep, sweet land of liberty. Of thee I sing. Land where my father died. Land of the pilgrim pride. From every mountain. Mountain side, let diamond in the name. Hmm. Hell. So that's it. That's it. Oh, her ancestors. Hey, you might be her ancestors. They are rolling their graves, folks. Yeah, you said it best. I think years ago. Listen here, <laughs> the the melanin deficient race, y'all, y'all set up for, for success, all right? Y'all our forefathers did a heck of a job setting y'all up for success. They made sure y'all had, you know, all of the land and all of the resources and, you know, all that good stuff. And for y'all to wind up like this, uh, non-melanated bone creature hell, yeah, y'all great grandpappies. They just wrote they like they like all that property we owned, all, all them Negroes we had, and now you out here getting hunched on them. 
and they just ugh, they just rolling over in their grave and you're ashamed. <laughs> yes, they are. So man. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy. I appreciate your sister. Says she is open like 7 Eleven. She's trying to open a 7 Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate your sound, Bill. He says, people get their heads removed in that culture, and she's on camera with her husband talking about cheating. <laughs> we all hear about her. We all hear about her in the future. I hope not. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. El Castigador, come through. Say, how does a Muslim man love a woman that's not family-oriented? <laughs> However she said it. Make it make sense. Alopecia Annie. <laughs> 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 Out to Skinny Boy 20 Boy. Appreciate you, brother. He says, All right, fellas. Bucket hat Bonquisha or bonnet bussy brother Bonquisha? Oh, <laughs> boy. I tell you what, like they were saying in the chat, the bonnet bussy sister, well, you know, the sister, <laughs> that sister, she had beautiful skin. She had that. But yeah, you got to fight her and her brother. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> appreciate your divine photos. But is gonna end up marrying the migrants here. And yes, yes, she is. <laughs> that part. So, <laughs> man, it's been a rough night. All right, we appreciate y'all for being here with us. If you just coming in on the back end, you missed the first part of the show. Make sure you go back. Um, catch the Veronica Madness and all the other stuff. The front end of the show was just as entertaining as the back end, folks. So, ooh. Ooh. Veronica, I really need Veronica to come up here. Come on, Veronica, bring your goofy self on up. I'm sorry, bring come on up here because I, I said it's, it's documented. I don't think Veronica got a fair chance to say what she needed to say. Team Veronica over here, all right. Come on, Veronica. Come on up. Are you agree with this? Set the record straight. <laughs> so there we go. We appreciate y'all. MJ, one of the show sponsors. Um, I got Project Leroy, Armar Jones, G Honda, Live RRL. We see y'all. This was another classic, y'all. Another classic. So I don't know how we did it. These last few shows, man. Y'all ain't been watching these live shows. I know a lot of y'all don't you know, y'all don't have the attention span to watch these long shows. Granted, you know, but don't wait till they come out in the smaller episodes. You want to catch these now while they hot. There you go. Hi, pipe and hot. We appreciate y'all, man. Per usual, y'all walks it like y'all talks it. Y'all was supporting y'all interest all day long, all week long. <laughs> Can't ask for much more. Appreciate y'all. Please don't hesitate. Don't wait. Hit the like button and the subscribe button if you have not on the way out. Those are at absolutely no cost to you. And don't hesitate to continue to support your interests. Support beautiful black media. Hit that super chat. Hit that cash app. If you're feeling frisky, go ahead. Get you some of that beautiful uh, Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices merch. Go ahead, grab you a shirt or hoodie. And if you want that exclusive boy, boy, that Fosachi got to jump up in the uh, email. All right. There you go. So there we go. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to my girl, Tracy Ann, all the ladies of Single by Choices, Goddess Bella, Danny Nicole, Rashina, Gwendolyn, uh, my girl, Crystal in the gang. Um, who else in the chat? Um, April Johnson. It's so many of y'all. See, CC Speaks, Mrs. Locks to Smile, all the lovely ladies. We see Faith. We get new ladies coming over every day. We want to try to have some diversity in the chat, folks. We don't want y'all having no sausage fest in the chat. Right? <laughs> there you go, that part. Tell you what, uh, Mrs. Gwendolyn Byers and Rose A was acting up in the chat. That's fine. That's fine. It's a safe space for you, sisters. That's all. Do, do Shout out to uh, uh, Jessica M. We see you. Um, Team Peterson, my guy, Joker Nutty, Nate. All right, everybody in the chat, my guy Don Jeter, the big Joker. Um, I see 
Joker Nate, Nate dropped the email for y'all. If y'all want the hoodie, make sure y'all hit the email. I see my guy Theo in the chat. Make sure y'all are at the Do Better Podcast, 8 30 tomorrow morning. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We this close to 100K, Theo. You see that? We this close. And we all got to say we. You got to feel like you're a part of this. And no way any of these channels, even with our channel, you mm -hmm. know, even though people may be the owners of the channel, but if you rock with people, take some ownership in these spaces. So start saying we. Say we yeah. over here at the Do Better and Single by Choices. Y'all take some power and ownership. There we go. We ain't speaking French, Negroes. <laughs> yeah. Just learn to share. Be inclusive. It's empowering, brother, for sure. Big shout out to Big Dog Theo Coop. Like those of you that don't know, shoot, yeah, Theo came over supporting us before we even knew who he was. And that's why he get the love he get. He a thousand times bigger than us. And he still show through showing love. And he over there cooking, most importantly, brother got one heck. Of a production. Here we go. Whoa, we at 100K already? Hey, you there, Theo? Whoa. All right. Well, excuse Good my up. French. Yeah. Hey, All right. Well, hold up. Wait a minute. Because hold up. I've been waiting for this. Where we at? <laughs> if we at 100K, I can't find him on my phone. Not yeah. yet. He said, Not yet. He said, not Okay. Yet. I'm about to say, What the hell? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I was like, I know. I thought, it. I thought it was going down in the morning, Theo. I was yeah. about to go. Yeah, I was about to go have my lady uh do a press on my on my suit on my Sunday <laughs> suit. I was hey. like, hey, iron my suit for the morning. I was about to get hell. Hey, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to come away. Hey, it's time the hundred K celebration. We listen that hundred K celebration. We're gonna act the absolute monkey baby and had the money because it's going down <laughs> okay i can leave my suit in the closet i'm about to say hell i'm about to break out the gators in my suit man we do it. so i reach for my for my for my wallet where we at <laughs> okay okay there we go yeah i said polish the gators all yeah i'm gonna polish the gators all that the you know, can't do that now all right <laughs> hey kid but we moving man we getting there where we at? It's next week. Stop playing, man. Where we at? Two, we need what? 2,000 subscribers? 3,000? Come on, man. About 2,500. Less, less than 2,500. So we this close, baby. Let's get it. Like I said, we. We on our way, man. We moving. Let's go. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, not yet, Project Leroy. We close. We close. So all right. All right. I'm about to say, man. I'm about to say, man. All right. Yeah. I know, I'll be keeping up. I ain't missed that. <laughs> Let's. I'm be here in my Sunday's best on the 100K celebration. Even if y'all can't see us, dress up. That's mm -hmm. another thing. Dress up for the 1K celebration like we going to some kind of ball or something, you know? Listen, I'm coming up like the Kendrick contestants. I'm going to be drunk and not responsible for my actions. <laughs> yeah. And all the ladies. Yeah, we already talked about this. All the ladies going to be in the chat after the 1K celebration. Y'all all got to go to church because it's going to be a lot going on. They're going to be up in church. Like God, but God is real. I just come home drunk from school, laying up with men, out there prostituting, having all sex with my mouth, licking men's balls. Amen. Remember you in prayer. Anyone else have a word from the Lord? Yes. It's All the squadettes. Y'all got to go to church after the 100K celebration. All the squadettes. Go get atonement. All the single ladies. All the single hey. squadette ladies. All right. It's going to be a glazebration. <laughs> going to get wild over there, baby. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so here we go we'll get out of here tonight we'll see y'all in the morning shout out to my girl nikia all right nikki nikia in the building how you been um el castigador we see all y'all so we'll get out of here man we had way too much fun tonight man, oh, man. for sure appreciate you guys we'll be back what's today oh we'll be back this saturday for lay regal rumbo is going down once again, for you.
there you go. So I just dropped the link in the chat to the Cart Before the Horse channel. Make sure you are subscribed over there as well before we get out of here. Um, we will be back up here this Saturday night for Lay Regal Rumble. All right. We we may have some ladies up for a minute. We may be flying solo. Um, we working on some different uh layouts for the show, you know, about how we're gonna be going forward as far as panels, maybe let y'all call in, different stuff like that. So be on the lookout though. We'll be back up here Saturday. We keep we moving the needle, folks. Yes, sir. Back in your face like we never left. See you later. So with that being said, I want to make sure we got everything here. Shout out to the show sponsors as well. Natty Leo, uh, MJ, Natalie, G Honda, Theo Coop, Q What It Do, Rachai Media, and Been Great Since 78. Thank you, guys. Can't thank you enough. So we appreciate all y'all support. Uh, we'll be back here this Saturday. Hit the like button on your way out. I am Gavin X. I am Mr. Walker. And we are Carpet for the Horse Productions. Good morning. <laughs>